What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Africa is Next podcast. Yeah, they let me introduce this time. Hey. <laughs> I feel extra special. Yo, I need a haircut, gents. Yeah, that's me right there, bro. No, no, I saw my footage from last week. I was legit giving super. I was legit giving super haggard. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I was like, if Hagrid went African and then also decided to get a full time. Yo, if, if, yo. <laughs> you're training Harry. No, not, not Harry. You're training Mang. What's a South African name with the H? <laughs> ah, Jen, tell me out here. How many H? You know, you know, we, we, we have nicknames. We say like Mahera. Or... Yeah, yeah, there you go, Mahera. <laughs> Except Mahera, Buddha, sure. Oh, fine. <laughs> Anyway, before we get into it, I just wanted to say, yo, um, there's interesting stuff happening, man. Uh, Miss Marvel trailer came out, the new trailer, uh, and uh, okay, I'm good. a virgin. I have not seen it, so guys, fill me in. Is it worth watching? I haven't seen it either. So I, so you, 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 the lone man here. It's, 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 it's not, it's not bad. I didn't really see that much, but. Yeah, I was listening to John Campia, and they were saying that it looks better than the the first trailer. How do you guys feel about three trailers in one film? Do you feel like it's too much? Well, I mean, for me, mm-hmm. you guys know my stance, so... Mm. I, I, isn't that the norm-ish? It is now, but was it always like that? No, no, no. So. Before, in 2000s, like, was it one? Dark Knight, Dark Knight, I didn't even see a trailer for that. Mm. I I'm just knew it was to... Batman, and then you go to the theater. That's that's what I knew. But they, they didn't. They never used to do all of these things. Because remember, it's not only three trailers. You also get TV spots. You get teasers. Yeah. You get... yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now that I get, then I understand. Maybe I'm confused because for me, the all of that was just one meant trailer for me. A TV spot was a trailer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but like the thing is, they also show like new footage, and it's just like, mm-hmm. Chief, you guys have already won. You've yeah. got the tickets in the theaters. I don't need more of the movie because now I'm going to know what's going to happen. And this is going to no, be like, ah. You feel like now, you've seen the whole thing. Now, now, what irritates me is the the, the clout chasers, I call them. You know, all these other channels mm. that now go into these reviews about the trailer, trailer view, review. Mm. What are the Easter eggs? What could it mean? Yeah. Like, look at the way Nick Fury blinks his eye at this moment at this race like <laughs> during the trailer is this like, an homage like, to that scene in the comic i like that stuff i don't want to yeah. really do it I was like, no, it's not no there's, a, there's a point where it's too much because then they yeah. start giving you expectations for what the movie's not gonna be yeah because yeah. i remember dr strange multiverse of madness yo we're going to see spider-man yo deadpool yo 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 nobody next yeah. don't yeah. Know. And nobody saw the fact that as much as people are busy saying, wow, she's such an awesome villain, nobody really expected her to be the bad guy. Yes. Also, you know, I I prefer people doing that than us getting trailers of of scenes that will not happen. Seeing Hulk run in Wakanda and that didn't happen in Infinity. Yeah. I beat the Hulk out of him. Yeah. I'm so mad. It's it's, it's especially because of all these movie reviews and nitpickers and people right. dissect trailers to their finest micro items that yeah sure you're gonna mislead them now because everybody already knows you're going to you're going to watch the movie like you mentioned earlier you're going to watch the movie so now we just don't want to spoil the story so we're gonna we're, we're gonna lie yeah but the other thing is everybody figures that out anyway like already people were talking about yo this this scene is fake this scene is fake don't let anybody who can dissect your movie affect your movie just release it as is in jail yeah. i promise you yeah. the actual amount of people that are going to the theater have not don't care about more True. emergency spoilers and more guy guy mofat saying they don't care about those guys it's it's That's fine true. that is very very true facts, facts. yeah facts about it but anyway, guys, thank you so much for checking out the previous uh, video. Um, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. Mm. And uh, yeah, man, this is the Africa is Next podcast. Uh, it's just basically the three of us. I'm Mr. Extraordinary. This is Buck. And um, that's Deva uh, Lohala. Um, two of these guys also have their YouTube channels. I'll leave the description below. So anyway, yeah, we want to talk about possibly one of the most interesting storylines 
in shonen in manga which is dragon ball and uh, an interesting storyline still which is the namek saga uh geez. guys i was so hyped to talk about this that i i started listening to the theme song for like for like five for like i started listening to the theme song in the afternoon that that yeah i actually wanted nah, to nah, 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 nah. <laughs> i actually wanted to nah, 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 nah. <laughs> I, remember when it started it, it used to say Stay tuned for Dragon Ball Z. I miss that guy. But you know you hate that guy. You hate that guy when it's the end of the episode. Yeah. You hate that guy when he's like, oh, Goku has finally found his match. Yeah. What is he going to do now? Find out. It's like, ah. Right. Right. Oh, right. Right. Don't say it. Ball Z. And Goku's like, hey, this is Goku. Hey, hey, Hello, this- on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z, man. How dare getting- you? <laughs> Yo, no, and especially when it was a talking episode. Whenever they were talking for too long, and then you're just like, yo, and then you get to see one kick. And then you see one kick or one key blast, and then it's like, find out next time. Ah, yeah, ah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I guess that's that's what made us so glued to Dragon Ball Z. You wanted to know what's going to happen next. No, the, mm. the, the genius of Dragon Ball Z was the ability to create suspense. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Out of the smallest things. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. So, I mean, in a universe, we look back and think, oh, guys, they had the Dragon Balls. You could wish them back to life. But at that moment, the urgency and the fear of death was yeah. still yeah. applicable. You were, yeah. when Gohan was flying and he sensed Vegeta, you were scared for Gohan's life. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's true. Uh, but uh, wait, let's jump into it. We we jumping ahead. So, <laughs> okay. so um, at this point... Goku is paralyzed. He cannot do anything. Pancake. <clears throat> Master Roshi and the gang come through. They fetch him. And as they're talking, they realize that, okay, Piccolo's dead. If Piccolo's dead, it means Kami is dead. So if Piccolo and Kami are dead, it means they don't have the dragons, the dragon balls anymore to wish their friends back to life. At this point, Tien is dead. Charles II is dead. Yamcha is dead. Piccolo is dead. So the thing... Brilliant thinking- miraculously survived. Who? Yeah, the, he, know, he know how to stay away. The guy knew how to duck and die. He miraculously survived. Yeah, I mean, he was there before. He died yeah. in Dragon Ball. He was like, not again. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, I think Agira did that de- deliberately because most people had no- already known that Crinkleton died before. We didn't. We we heard that he had died before. but So it's like he spared him, I think. Yeah. And he used his other death at, at a very crucial point, which we'll get to later yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so coincidentally, we realized that Mr. Popo was listening all along. And he's like, okay, guys, I want to let you guys know something. Um, there's a planet called I think he's the one that told him about it, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was, it was him. Uh yeah. and then I can take you guys there. I can show you Kami's ship. Maybe yeah. you guys can use the ship to get there. Um by this point, I think Goku was already, was already in hospital. Mm. Boma had already gotten, I think, the remote of the spaceship. I think it was Vegeta's Nappa spaceship. It was Nappa's, yeah. Yeah, because they were they were hoping that they can use that to travel to Namek. Mm. Then Piccolo popped. I mean, Mr. Popo popped in and then took Boma with a flying carpet. By the way, no, was, you, yeah. you forget you forget the reason why Popo had to take him to the spaceship. They successfully blew Nappa's ship up. Sex on live television, by the way. <laughs> you know, they were just like, Yeah, they were like, Yeah, there's no more here. No? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whoever pressed that button, you know, you pressed it with attitude. You know, they were like, Yeah, <laughs> it was Boma. <laughs> it was Boma. <laughs> it was Boma. She, she played, oh, yeah, yeah, she, <laughs> she played herself. Yeah, so then okay, she gets to goes to the ship, she doesn't know how to operate it, and then Mr. Puff explains that, Look, Kame came to Earth, like, eons ago. Uh-huh. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's the ship. So, to cut the long story short, uh, Krillin and Gohan decide to accompany Bulma to Namek so that they can go and retrieve the Dragon Ball. Just Bulma. before we get there, Ned, right. let's just also big ups to Gohan because he did something that nobody would ever do in any household ever. He talked back to his mother and he said, I'm going. 
like you yeah I, the, like you the fear in my heart when i saw that scene yeah. because i was just like i would never i would never you, your dad your dad is scared of your mom and 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 you do what you're doing right now and, and, and that is <laughs> His words were, were, were even more embarrassing. It's like, I'm not, I'm going, mom. I'm not a child anymore. It's like, you 12 years old. He's not even 12. That's, that's Piccolo training can, right can, there. Can we, pay, can we acknowledge? Look, guys, <laughs> Gohan at that point must still have him, what, what, six, seven. Yes. Remember he got abducted by Piccolo at five? Yeah. They trained for a year, six. Yeah. And they fought the Namex at six. <laughs> And, and, and I think about it. He goes. Think about it. The last time Chi Chi saw Gohan, he was a crybaby. Yeah. No, the last time she saw him, like he's she like, I'm going, going to another, I'm, I'm going to another planet. Like, whoa, what happened to you? I that's think, my child. I, I think that's the reason why she gave him the the dumbass haircut. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. she's like, what's happening? To oh, you? is that how you treat me in front of guests? In that case, <laughs> yeah, let's go home. <laughs> yeah. I mean, look, to, like everybody gets on Chi Chi in the Dragon Ball fandom, and I'm I'm one of those people sometimes. But I understand where she's coming from. My only issue with her is that you can't keep this guy behind the desk because when the planet's on fire, all of those books are not going to help. <laughs> and I think it's because no, it's because there's more than just one person who's supposed to be able to take care of business. She didn't they, want. Yeah. They're not always there, though. <laughs> I, 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 yo. And that's the other thing is you forget that that's her firstborn child. Look at any mother with her firstborn baby. <laughs> and then you're going to tell me, no, we need this baby of yours. You just, wait, you, everyone sees a warrior. She sees her baby. Yeah. Going there, getting punched by this man from outer space. <laughs> I mean, the way she went crazy, which I see that fight between Gohan and Vegeta on the crystal ball. First, she had armed with guns. <laughs> <laughs> then when, when they realized that those guns are not going to help, then she had to go there and sit and watch her baby almost get killed. And then she had to cheer her baby on. <laughs> but okay. that was the only option. I, think, I, I understand, Chi-Chi. I'm just saying, you can't yeah. keep him behind a desk when the planet can be on fire. This is Dragon Ball. Somebody always lands out of the sky every week. I'm going to destroy planet Earth. Mm. You need somebody there. That's all right. I'm saying. I think what you should have learned is that you, if you can't prepare, if you can't protect them, then you need to prepare them. And she yeah. she pressed the pr- protect button too hard and not the prepare button. Mm. But I think the the other thing that 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 came to mind as we were speaking is Goku's broke and they're living off Ox King's money. Yeah, but I mean, hold up, Ox hold King up. is Ox King is well. Goku technically is not because he won the tournament, so they have tournament money. But, but which oh, finishes oh, in oh, a year? Do you know how much? How, do you know how much that man eats? <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, fair, 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 fair. Sorry. No, I'm saying fair. <laughs> yeah, I mean, how long? I mean, for five years, you still using tournament money? Hey, Ox, Ox King. Well, I mean, also. Chi Chi married Goku when she knew he didn't have a job. Like it, it's not his fault. She she no, no, decided. <laughs> but I think, I think I think she didn't want her son to be an entitled kid or who. Like, she didn't want her son to be like Goku in a sense that she cannot he cannot take care of himself. Like once he. I guess. Oh, hold up, hold up, wait, whoa, whoa, wait, wait. wait. Goku can take care of himself financially. There yeah. you go. There's, the, there's the caveat. Yes. Well, I mean, if you want to say financially, bro can live off of the land, no problem. Like he, he has he been living off the land, like, no problem. He doesn't need a house. The only reason he's in the house is because of Chi Chi. Yes, but but don't you think that Chi Chi's thinking if my son is gonna get married one day, he needs to be able to. <laughs> but <laughs> Gohan was feeding himself when he was two years old. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm. But I, I, I get your argument. I get your. I really do get your argument. But my, my, my two points is that one, guys. Chi Chi is rich. Yeah. Ox King wasn't broke yeah, at all. I mean, she's like as rich as Bulma or something, or even yeah, richer, or something they, like that. They have a whole in, kingdom. <laughs> back, back yeah. in Dragon Ball. Yeah. The big problem was that. Ox King had so much treasure that he had to set an entire mountain on fire to protect it. That's crazy, man. Um, that, that, 
that man was loaded. I'm not sure if he's as loaded as 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 Bowman then, but there's there, there, there 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 family. He probably I think is. He is. I think it's just that it's just that they're they're so traditional and so yeah, because Chi Chi's a princess. She's private. Yeah, that, yeah. that they don't like splurging and stuff. You know what I mean? Mm. They're very traditional. So exactly. unlike mm-hmm. Boma, Boma is all about hair and makeup and clothes and fashion. And I so mean, bro, the Chi Chi's family is like one of those rich billionaires that you'll never detect because they always try to quote unquote live a humble life. But yes. all, we all know shame. When push comes to shove, they will, they will splurge, they will show up. Yeah. But yeah. then they'll, they'll mask it under the, the, the mask of humility. Mm. But, and you see it here and there. You know, you see a bit of it here and there with how Gohan sort of... I mean, Gohan, you can tell that Gohan has never been in a position where he needs any financial aid. But also, as a what? Sayer, what? he what? eats what? dinosaurs, so he's never been hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, at, at, at that point, all you'd think about is, like, if you really need gold, they could literally punch a hole in a gold mine and bring it out. Exactly. It's, yeah, no. I um, mean, that's why, that's why, I mean, look, Goku can die anytime without life uh, life cover. I mean, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> he doesn't need Holland. <laughs> <laughs> no, he doesn't, he doesn't. You know, when you that advert, you yeah. know those adverts on TV. Yeah, you can die knowing your family is safe. What? Wait, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me let me get my voice up. <clears throat> Hi, I'm from clientele. <laughs> have you ever speak? Have you ever taken a moment to think about the fact that you're going to die? <laughs> he looks when like Doomy. He looks <laughs> like Doomy. <laughs> <laughs> Here at clientele, we'll give you, we'll give you the cover you need to pay for your funeral, <laughs> the, the, the casket, and additional expenses leading to the uh, leading to the funeral. Including Just call one eight hundred die. In, yeah. Including injuries at tournaments. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, I just imagine Timelo is like the Michael Duve of Dragon oh, Ball Z. <laughs> 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 He's like at the tournament selling life insurance to the fighters. Really? It's like if you break your neck on this tournament, you must that destroy is... your family's cupboard. <laughs> have you fought a, have you, have you literally have you literally get, gotten your ass kicked by this by this future champions? <laughs> Do you think you actually had a chance? For a slow, for a small small fee of a hundred zenny a month, you can get cover from being blasted. <laughs> eaten yeah, yeah, transformed, yeah. It, transformed uh, into candy. Uh, <laughs> that, would, that would be an interesting arc, though. You're like you're the guy who who <laughs> to, to quote place and destroys all the sensu beans. No, no, I, I no, please. That, that's too much work. All I need to do is get uh, get a proposal with um, Mr. Satan or Hercule. Mm. Oh yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. Then I've uh, then I'm sorted. I just tell you, you beat them like this. And yeah. then I tell them it falls outside their cover. They need exec- additional funds. Yeah. And then we'll split the profits. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, man. So uh, the boo arc, I'll have even boo to play along with. <laughs> no, uh, you're not stealing. You're <laughs> helping, them with, <laughs> helping them keep them safe. <laughs> it will make the tournament more fun. Yeah. Uh, when I, when I, when I you'd even have chocolate cover. Once boo turns into a chocolate, <laughs> your family <laughs> would be bro- <laughs> <laughs> Have you been turned into a Kit Kat? Call one eight hundred. Just saying over here and over here. Yes. Kit Kit cover and this. Yo, uh, we need somebody animate that. Yo, some uh, where's where's Mr. One Day One Day Street Carnival, my guy? Come on. Yo, that'd be hilarious. Yo, Yo. imagine clientele life cover at the Dragon Ball Z tournament. This one do it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, Desmond. Yeah, I, I I got his name wrong. I I just yeah. You did hospital cover for third degree burns. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That I my my brain just it was so funny. I was I was just laughing for like five minutes inside because I was like you. I just imagined Desmond Duve and Lillian at the at the Dragon Ball Z tournament. <laughs> he's handing out <laughs> flying. <laughs> They're gonna come after us, Shame. Ah, uh, they're coming after us. <laughs> you saw what happened last week. Let's, let's behave. <laughs> what happened last week? 
<laughs> you remember? Remember with my laptop. Uh, oh yeah! Oh yeah! Yeah yeah! Sorry, man. By the way, um, yeah. Sorry, we digress. Um, so yeah, Gohan is joining uh this trio. Well, this duo. She's, mm. He's becoming. He's the the trio now. Yes. The third one. Yes. So they go to Namek. Well, off to Namek. I think even that's the title of one of the episodes. Off to Namek. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they go there, and in the meantime, they start. Go- uh, Krillin and Gohan start training because they don't know what they're about to encounter. encounter. Or who might they might, might encounter? In the meantime, Vegeta uh, lands into one of Freezer's planets, one one of the planets that he owns, gets some medical treatment there. Um, and then he can, can we also talk about the, the how humility how humiliating that scene must have been mm. i mean he lands there these guys know that it's vegeta they even lined up like all yes. star wars style kind of like, you know, prepare to salute yes. the champ. <laughs> and there's a see this man <laughs> <laughs> that must have been weird because they've probably never seen vegeta like that before <laughs> he was thrashed. he was thrashed Yes, yes, and the, yeah. the worst part is the damage he received was because of a gigantic ape. You you know he you know he exaggerated the story. You know ah, he was like yo ah, ah there was five thousand guys. It was one of me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no. But also, if I know Vegeta as well as I think I do, he wouldn't tell a soul. He wouldn't say like he would just say eh, we just say I I I. I, I I was in a battle and I ended up like this. Yeah. So did you win? Go ask the guys who go ask the guys I fought. <laughs> but also, it's amazing how how quickly he managed to get to another planet. If it took him a year to get to Earth, from Earth to whichever planet that he went to to get medical treatment, it was less than a year, I think, wasn't it? It was less than a month. Hmm. Ah, he put it in hyper gear. I can't was it hyper he, he was taking his time the first time. You know, he was just <laughs> on his way destroying planets. He was like, ah, it's going to be easy. Then he got and got trapped. Huh. And he was like, I, I tired, you know, this time I have to kick it up. <laughs> he can't I take it my was hyper, time. Yeah, it, was, it must have been hyperdrive. Or maybe they got, they got some upgrades mid flights. Like... Yeah. <laughs> but I think, I, think, I think Bug is right because, I mean, I remember there was a point where he gave the Z Fighters an hour because they kept talking about Goku coming. He's like, are you guys talking about Kakarot? Okay, let's chill for an hour and see if he comes. If he doesn't come after an hour. And then they let Napa go destroy stuff. It wasn't an hour. It wasn't an hour. It was three hours. Imagine. Imagine. A whole three hours. Go have fun. Yeah. But don't use up too much of your energy. It's like, why? Well, he is one of us. Yeah. But anyway, I just wanted to add, going back to the uh, pizza arc. Uh, minus, minus some fillers along the way. Yeah. They eventually get to Namek. Um, and this is one of my favorite scenes in all of Dragon Ball. Ball Bulma's like, okay, before we get out, I just want to make sure that the oxygen levels are fine. We can breathe everything. So there's nothing toxic here. Let's just check. As, is, as she's saying all these things, Krillin and Gohan are already out of the <laughs> checking, out, <laughs> checking out the area. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and what I like about Namek is that it's the inverse of Earth in a sense that the trees are blue and the water's green. Mm. That was pretty cool. No, it's a beautiful environment. Yo, like th- those colors are iconic. Like you put those three colors anywhere, and, like anybody will know what you're talking about. Yeah. I think people don't understand how iconic Dragon Ball Z is. Like, it was so iconic, it bled into other cartoons. But anyway, that's another discussion for another day. That's true. Cool. That's true. Mm. So anyway, um, <clears throat> Frieza, free, okay, no, okay, uh, I think I'm jumping the gun. Vegeta gets healed, d- kills those people that healed him for no reason. For no, he was upset. No, 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 no. he didn't <laughs> kill those. He didn't. He, at that planet, he didn't kill those people that healed him, because that med scientist then told him, "Hey, guy, Frieza knows your plan." <laughs> Yeah. Things are going to be like that, blah, blah, blah. It's like, oh, shit, I need to run. So he flies off, and that's where he meets, I think his name is Kui or something. Kui, like. yeah. Oh, the, 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 the big, big-headed purple yeah. guy. Yeah, yeah so I... that's where they were busy, busy uh, teasing each other. And that's how he found out that Frieza knew, uh, knows about the Dragon Balls, and he's already in Namek. And then Frieza took, uh, then Vegeta took off from that planet. Yes. Kui followed him. Right. <laughs> So now Frieza basically wants 
to do what Vegeta wanted to do, which is to gain immortality. Exactly. Yeah, no, I freeze is such a biter. It's not even his plan. It was like, ah, I'm on that. I think he's bored. I think he's bored because so many people are already destroying planets on his behalf. What, uh, you're an intergalactic. But, but can you also uh, can you also admire the introduction of Frieza as a villain? <sighs> so it it's it's one of those that that opening scene where you see these powerful warriors and then yeah. you just see this man floating this small thing yeah on a big ass throne. And let's and, be honest, we were not sure if it was male or female. We had no idea. And <laughs> we still the, don't know. <laughs> like Zabon as well. Like when we saw Zabon, I was like, is that a woman? Dodoria. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 Dodoria, we, I, I'm, ah, no, Dodoria was clear. Yeah. Dodoria, Dodoria was clear. pink with big ass black lips that had yeah. lipstick on it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was confused. I was like, hmm. Yeah. That, no, I don't. That one is a as soon as, as, no, as soon as, as soon as you heard him talk, I was like, ah, this guy, he drinks six packs, he drinks black label. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he smokes yeah. on Fridays. I, 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 I think, I think maybe because the they, they were introduced, they already had at least two Dragon Balls already, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. no, I remember okay. Zalbon was was holding like two, I think. That four. That four. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That four. Well, I think I, I remember these things too much. I should just chill sometimes. No, no, no. I well, it's good because you know, I you remember better than we do, I yeah. guess. Which is yeah. good. that was so amazing because you can see how competent these guys are. They didn't need a dragon raider. Those sculptors were so, I guess, the, used... the, the the sculptors are tuned to the villages, and the the Namekians unknowingly had yeah. seven villages around each dragon ball so I, which a sound for the namekians just imagine uh, aliens uh, uh, fall out so, of the sky so and all you're... they did was just check <coughs> okay we've got a village there right oh, there were, no no there were six villages the seventh one was, was in uh, yeah 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 so they, they all they were just doing was just bouncing from village to village <laughs> but can we talk about how okay I'm still going to give my opinion. Piccolo carried the story forward for me in my perspective in the Saiyan saga. In the Namek saga, it's Vegeta. Vegeta, Because his, his idea leads to people invading Namek. Yes. So the entire time, the Namekians had peace. And then Vegeta's idea lends people to Namek. And it's because of him and, and Nappa killing the Z fighters now that the Earthlings also had to go to Namek. That's amazing. Now, I'm going to say this, and I don't know if people are going to consider this controversial or not. I don't care anyway. In terms of story writing, the Nemec arc, the Frieza arc, is the best one by far. I agree. It's the only one that was... Ah. Pro- that is the only one that was plot-centric. I agree. Because I remember I read, I read an Things article... Things happened article. that resulted in something else happening yeah. that resulted in something else happening. Yeah. I, I I can see that I'm just I'm a cell saga guy so anyway. Well, I don't no, no, no. I'm also I'm also a cell. I, I love cell. Cell's my favorite villain. It's my favorite arc. It's by far my favorite arc. But when it comes to a plot, yeah. Okay, I can see what you're saying. Yeah, when it comes to saying. the writing, you can see that Toriyama ascended that at that moment. That was his. At that time, he he. I think he focused more on the writing at yeah. that time. Because before he started whole, forgetting stuff. No, <laughs> it was a whole cat and mouse game, man. Then. Hmm. Who's going to get the, the Dragon Balls, uh, Vegeta strategy, uh, how he's smarter than Frieza, even though Frieza's stronger than him, how Vegeta was was slowly killing his henchmen bit by bit so that they don't get in, in, on his uh, on his way and then he can quickly sneak in and steal Frieza's Dragon Balls. Yo, it was, it was a whole and, thing. And, and it's also how it, it adds up. Like we have, uh, what's it called, that thing? How when he sees his henchman and up to the job, he calls the the Ginyu Force. Yes, I, the most dancingest. Uh, uh, <laughs> I was like, just imagine somebody strikes a pose before they kill you. Yo, I'd feel so embarrassed. <laughs> you, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I I honestly think, and I could be so wrong on this, but the more we talk about it, the more I realize that it, I could be right. I genuinely think that Akira Toriyama was inspired by Star Wars when he was writing that saga. Um, a couple of things. A couple of things. There, there, there are a lot of influences, I can say. Yeah, yeah. Because, because for me, the Ginyu Force is like Boba Fett. 
a, a few Boba Fets <laughs> because it's like think no, of the, Kenya, it. the Kenya forces everybody they're the power knows. rangers they're the power me. rangers yeah the reason I'm saying that né, is there is a subplot yeah it's yeah, sort of I like they could easily have been filler but they were not if, if that makes sense yeah yeah uh, I, I, but not, not. I would, I would disagree in the sense that it's because it's Dragon Ball Z, and that's the formula. They needed those guys there to yeah. power scale Goku, right. to put the other <laughs> fighters through things, and mm. to yeah, because right. like you have to understand, Goku gets a like we'll get to it, but Goku gets a significant power up because of those guys. Right. So I feel like as much as they are a subplot, which they are. Just because of the way they, just because of the way Akira was doing the Dragon Ball Z formula, you needed somebody before you get to Frieza. They couldn't just skip to Frieza. Yeah. But then, can we also can we also admit that at that point, also at that point, Goku was carried off by the power of plot more more times than any other any other saga in the entire series. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No. Because, no. No. Because the last time the last time he fought someone, he was paralyzed, so he, he needed to be. Yeah, no, no, we we know about the Zenkai boost, right? <laughs> right. He he does get stronger. He he now gets on a spaceship. It takes quote unquote a month to go from Earth to Namek. Mm-hmm. And in that month, he trains in a hundred times gravity. Wow, novel. And the power scale from that <laughs> from that hundred times gravity. It's the Saiyans, Baba. It's the Saiyans. Who came from? <laughs> From barely being able to survive Vegeta to guys, I'm the so Vegeta one. thinking is a super <laughs> saiyan. Come back. It's is the Saiyan, Baba. Is he a super saiyan? Ah, uh, so you gotta add the Zenkai boost and the training, man. It's it's two step process. <laughs> uh, and also the amount of techniques he suddenly develops. He suddenly can read minds. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. that one I can't defend. I don't, no, no, no. That's no, no. Not too long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. He was able to detect what was happening miles away while he was getting healed. But anyway, anyway, we're still on the introduction of Frieza. I remember the first time he passes and then Gohan feels his power level. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody, everybody felt it. It's like, wow. Yeah. Do you feel those guys? I think um, even their bridge series makes a sort of a funny statement about that because it's like, they're all at least as strong as Vegeta. Yeah, yeah, Gohan, I felt that. Except for the one in, that one guy in the front. He felt like a hundred Vegetas. Yeah, yeah Kohan, I noticed. <laughs> and mind you, that was his base form. Yeah, yeah. Frieza is absurdly strong. And the thing is, like with Frieza, the way that his like his first form looks, you don't think yeah. that they're talking about him. Yeah. You don't think that they're talking about this small guy or whatever. And then you see him land in the middle, and you're like, okay, yeah. it, it, it's him. I mean. We, we we saw that one moment where he 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 almost destroyed Namek <laughs> for a second at that very beginning. I think one of the old men says something offensive to Freezer, and you just see his finger go up just once. He's like, hmm, no, no, I still need the Dragon Balls. And then, <laughs> <laughs> and you know, then he, that's when he unleashes the Doria. You so you know what's so weird about Freezer's intentions or ambitions is. At that time, nobody could stop him, but he still wanted immortality. For what? <laughs> no, Chief, you if need to make sure. <laughs> you need to be sure. If there's one thing an evil emperor wants is to be is to live forever. When you've got everything... To rule forever. Oh, the only thing that balances the equation is that you're going to die. And that's what people are hoping right. for, and whatever. It's like that. <laughs> right. No matter how... No matter how powerful you become, how, how much of an evil overruling emperor... No matter how many of a great leader you are or a dictator or whatever, mm. once you have that absolute power, the people need to only survive for the time for the time that you're still alive. You know, I feel like him and Jabba could have, would have been Jabba the Hutt would have been best friends. Eh? Nah, and he would have killed Jabba. He would have killed. He would have destroyed no. Jabba. Jabba would have <laughs> said one thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, because <laughs> Frieza respects strength and usefulness. Mm. Jabba doesn't have either. No, no, not in terms of not not in terms of being useful or strong. I, I just mean in terms of, I guess, power, be, being power hungry and 
you know, no, having I his see what henchmen, you're saying, but yeah. he hear Jabba speak one time and he'd blow him up. Uh, <laughs> the, the, the one person that Frieza would have had a wonderful time with would have been Vader, no? not Vader, Palpatine. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, I don't, I, oh, yeah, they, no, they'd, be he, they'd be here. Uh, <laughs> that, that'd be, I mean, both are racist. <laughs> Yeah. Is is Palpatine racist? His empire was all about human superiority. Have you seen which alien is serving on the Star Destroyer or on the Death Star? Do you see any aliens? Fair enough. Fair <laughs> enough. Yeah. I mean, we don't know how the clones look like without the suits. And as soon as we found out one was black, they all tried to kill him. So. <laughs> 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 what the hell? <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. So him and Freezer, best friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and like, and then him and who else? Now Freezer, I think Freezer's racism is the one thing that that carry, is the one defining car- thing that car- carries on to this day and age. But even how he speaks, you know, Freezer's dialogue is completely different from everybody. Yeah, no, no, it's 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 wonderful character design. You see, that's mm-hmm. called. It's called like a gentleman villain. Yeah, he's polite. And, he uses yeah. the even if you look at the even you look at the Japanese uh, manga, mm. he'll repa- he he'll refer you as like Vegeta son. Yeah, it's not it's his absolute power gives gives you an air of superiority, but not so right. much of narcissism. Yes, because, to a point. There's a point There's where a point. It, yeah, right. there's a yeah. point where it Wait. flips over. Yeah. Like, like the way he embarrassed Vegeta. That way he, anyway, we'll get to it. We'll get yeah, to no, it. But that's that's a superiority complex. That's hard at no. work. When you I always used to say when you when you believe that you're God, you have no need for you to have people worshipping you because you are a god. It's just uh, yeah. look at Aizen, for instance. Mm. Yeah, what's, yeah, exactly. Same thing. But look, um, and 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 Zabon compliments him so well because costing, calling him Master Freezer and having that British accent and Lord it's like, Freezer. dude, for you to be part of these ga- this gang, you have to be on another level. And then he's his beast is pouring him wine like he's his bitch. You know what I mean, <laughs> Master Freezer? Is there anything I can get for you? It's just him. Yeah. King Vegeta is making a big mess outside of my ship. Oh no, it's gonna cost me my wine hour. <laughs> <laughs> can anyway, we also talk say. about can we also talk about um thingy when Vegeta actually finds out about how um thingy planet uh, planet Vegeta blew up and everything because I was like you you didn't know no I'm he no he didn't know all the particulars he just yeah. knew Frieza blew it up but like um also there was that special of Bardock which is underrated mm. I really like that thing a lot and I don't think a lot of people like they've made it non-canon now which is so stupid to me but like yeah no that, officially according to them all the Dragon Ball Z movies are non-canon even from their their own story but that one was perfect which is dumb because we do see Bardock incinerating when he's having a flashback. Yeah, and and uh, the first time, uh, the, the first time Frieza sees Goku, he's like, "Oh, I, aren't you the son? You're the offspring of." Yeah, he sees he sees Bardock in him. He's like, "Oh, oh yeah." yeah. yeah like... But can and... we be honest, guys? Bardock is Jor El. No, he is no. not. Not not from that. Not from that particular thing. If you see that particular thing, he's Jor El. If Jor El was a monster, <laughs> no, I'm Jor- not talking about in terms of like fighting or whatever. I mean, in the sense that he knew what was coming. He knew what was coming. Saved his son from destruction. No, he didn't no, save his son. Originally, what happened was is that Goku was sent to us to conquer it. That's yeah, all okay. it was about. Oh, yes. Like, the reason, like, one of the things that I hate about Dragon Ball Super and just going forward is that the mischaracterization of the Saiyans, it ruins everything. Yeah, I mean, because they, like, they were bloodthirsty warriors. That's yeah. what the culture was. Mm-hmm. Like, the fact that Goku is how he is, other Saiyans couldn't comprehend that Why? he was just, that he was yeah. just a guy. Like, you know? 
a caring, yeah. you're a caring father. Yeah, uh, like how? Like you haven't blown up the planet. You haven't subjugated anybody. That's you why haven't... I just was so confused. Like, yeah, dude, like what the hell? <laughs> yeah, Vegeta. The first time he met Goku, he was like, "What's a long mo? What? Yeah. what? What's going on here? You're yeah, so anti saying bro. Like, yeah. that's why it's like you don't even have a tail, do you? Yeah. So, like, with Bardock, it was such a brilliant story because he was despicable, but they still made you feel sorry for him. Right. Like, no one was listening I mean, to him. But, like, this guy was murdering. Like, the when they yeah. open the movie, he's, like, chilling in a, in a pit of corpses. And you're just, like, and his whole sash and everything, like... That, I, I I like that movie a lot. They wiped oh. they wiped out the planet, and they were sitting there after they killed everyone. And then there was the last person who was alive from the planet who gave Bardock the ability to see the future. Mm. That movie was only so that. Good. That movie was so good that it actually influenced Akira to actually because at that time, um, Goku and Frieza had not yet met in the manga. So when you saw that, it was like, oh, flip. <laughs> I'm going to include this guy in the manga type yeah. thing. So that's awesome. That's really and that's cool. also another retcon because it's Bardock's whole movie is a retcon. Because if you remember, Vegeta called Bardock <laughs> called uh, yeah, Bardock's a scientist. scientist. Yeah. <laughs> he was an average fighter, but a brilliant scientist who created this that. technique. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, he can be both, and you know, every Saiyan fight, every and, Saiyan and fight. For me, I was like, there's a bit of Jarrell here. Like, it, it felt like that, you know, yeah. for me, because I was like, <sighs> but yeah, yeah. But Jarrell was nice. Bardock was not. <laughs> yeah, you can see Zack Snyder was trying really hard to to make Jarrell cool. I mean, using Russell Crowe. No, I, having him throw so, elbows and knees and, uh, and it's just uh, like, ah, my guy, stop it. <laughs> He's a scientist. I, 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 co- I commit the world's first abortion in in Krypton. No, yeah. first birth, my guy. No, no, no. That was the, and I'm, I'm not talking about the birth. He went there and stole the registers codex. <laughs> so everybody was going to be born. He decided, no, yoink. So that's like <laughs> planet wide abortion. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and he, he looked he looked he looked really good though. Hey, eh? you can tell he trained just for that small scene. Jay. The guy was ripped. No, I mean he's also there flexing the muscles, telling uh, yeah, Cal L, you know, Cal L, you must protect them on the planet. <laughs> <laughs> you remember? You guys remember that picture of uh, J.K. Simmons training as Jim Gordon? Yo, I, that's, that's one. That's one guy. guy. I feel sorry for, for like you. five minutes. <laughs> Dude, you trained just to you just to wear a trench coat and wear ah, muscles. No, he he put he he turned on the bat signal. That thing is heavy. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> anyway, uh, I don't know where we were. Um, uh, we were at the point where we got introduced to Frieza. Right, his henchman. And we are talking about the. About the Doria. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, Ginyu yeah. Force. Oh, yeah. Uh, Let's talk about the Ginyu Force for a bit. Yo, yeah. I the, so, the, like the 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 posing and then, like you know, have you ever played those video games? Um, what's this? What is the posing again? That was. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Goldo. I'm Goldo. I'm Goldo. <laughs> Who am I? I? I don't know who this is. Is it Raccoon? No, yeah, I think that's Raccoon. And well, then this I is think... Sparta. Yeah, right? and then um. <laughs> No, nobody can do. Nobody can do Captain Ginyu. Ginyu no, nobody hey, can. Ginyu, you gotta be down here. Or <laughs> <laughs> and then I think Golda was like this, right? Yeah. And then Jace, Jace was like this as well. Yeah. And yeah. Then so, put her somewhere here. The goofiest team ever, but don't fight those guys. They no, were... that's the thing. Like they're so goofy, but they'll embarrass you. Like yeah. yo, like when we saw, like you know, Vegeta, you know, Vegeta's like the baddest of the bad. You know and... him to be this this big man, and then when he fights Raccoon, Raccoon just embarrasses him because he's no. posing, but he's mama tearing the hell out of Vegeta. It's like yo, Raccoon was definitely the napa of that team. Eh? And it's also that it was also the season where they changed. Um... I remember they changed the voices, right? The voice acting, voice. yeah, because yeah. that's that's when, and I think that's when the v- Vegeta fan base finally grew because yeah. no, not necessarily because I think what they did also, depending on which version you got, they also yeah. went back and redubbed the voices yeah. for, for the Saiyan saga with the new actors. But I know, I know there was a switch. Yeah, I know so, there was a switch. So at the time, it was it was dubbed by 
Ocean Dub. Mm-hmm. Mm. Then Funimation took over from that. And what Funimation did, which was interesting, when Christopher Sabat took over the role of Vegeta, when Sean Chamel took the role of Goku, they initially tried to imitate the original voice actors. Yeah. But then they were slowly changing those their voices as time grew. But if you listen to the old tapes and you hear how Christopher Sabat started, and he was kind of sounding like Brian Drummond a bit. Yeah, okay. Lesson yeah. learned. Because I was, I was like... But I also know that's how most people started to love, started loving Vegeta. The, mm-hmm. the, that that graph, that graph mainly, I don't give mm-hmm. an F. Yeah. Same voice. But also, Suddenly, or, or, or rather, mm-hmm. the guys who were low key fans of Vegeta started becoming louder and louder. Yeah. Oh, funny enough, Sean Chamel actually wanted to voice Captain Ginyu before he was given the role of Goku. Whew, thank God. Thank God for that. Thank God for that. <laughs> hey, imagine. Yeah. Yo, who oh, else would they have gotten? The proof mm. that God exists. Can you break down the Ginyu Force? Okay, there's the leader who's Captain Ginyu. Power yeah. level, 120,000. Wow. Then and, um, and one of the lamest movesets, I'm sorry. Who's, anyway. the, wait, who's, the, who's the strongest? Is it? Is it? It's Ginyu. It's in the Ginyu, Ginyu Force. Okay, then, then after him, who, who's the strongest? Is it Berta or Jace or Raccoon? Raccoon, it would be Raccoon. Yeah. Raccoon, I believe, was... In my opinion. Raccoon is the Nepa, bro. In my opinion, he's the Nepa of the group. Because he takes... His fight is the longest. Did you just have load shedding? Yeah, I think so. Because your lighting changed. You know? Like... Hey. Hey. What just happened? Hey. Escom <laughs> says it's over nine thousand. <laughs> you know, <laughs> your internet is still fine, though, right? No, no, everything is fine. Okay. Ah, you see, you guys, cheese boys, you oh, need to get on your levels. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think for me, Rakum is is the nep- like he took forever, dude. Goku had to intervene. No, yeah, yeah, he's the nap of the group. No, what I, I is, like, oh, sorry, go ahead, go ahead, sorry. What I appreciate about the the Raccoon, what my one of my favorite fights of the of the whole arc is Raccoon versus Vegeta. Mm. No, it was a good fight. The, the he... combat, the combat pacing. That's the first time, and I know people will like, argue against this, but still true. That is the first time we get to see the final flash. Look at what he does, look <laughs> at his actions, mm. and then tell me if that's not the final flash. He oh, was practicing. Hold he was practicing the weakest because he. Yeah, Krill, God, uh, Krillin and Gohan couldn't stop that whole time thing, but then Vegeta just wiped, it, killed him quickly. No, Krill- he he would have he would have died anyway. It, like if he didn't catch them, Gohan and Krillin would have sorted him out. Even even Krillin said it when he said when he looked at Gold, it's like, what is Gold yelling at Vegeta for? Vegeta could kill him with both arms tied behind his back. Yeah. Yeah. He was he was by far the weakest. His time stop ability was the only thing that led him into the group. Yeah, and, then and was... they didn't even respect him then. Nobody respected Guldo in that group. I mean, he died, and they were like, Ginyu. I think Ginyu. You know the thing where your leader brings someone to the group that you don't think is on your level, but you yeah. respect the leader so much that you can't really do anything about it. <laughs> then, then, then when he dies, it's like, oh, okay. Okay. It's like, Esa, we need another member for the Ginyu force. But also oh, at the time, yeah. remember, Ginyu was not there. Ginyu was still taking Frieza's order, Frieza's orders and stuff like that. Like, everybody was there apart from him. So I guess you could say at the time, who was in charge? I don't know. There is no second, technically. No, there's no second in command. I think everybody just does whatever they want until yeah. Ginyu gets Because they, they'd, given the, he's, they'd given them their orders. At that point, they had all seven Dragon Balls. Right. Because uh, Guru gave Gohan the one, the one star. Oh, yes. oh, wait, we are going ahead of ourselves. We can't forget the most iconic scene in all this, in all the second season. Apart from the transformation. Um, <laughs> Krillin and Gohan? No, 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 no. When Vegeta finds out <laughs> that Gohan stole his Dragon Ball. Now I thought you were gonna talk about before that when uh, Vegeta when Vegeta is talking to Gohan and he's like, you know, Gohan, we're the last of our kind. Yeah. We need to look out for each other. Boom. Psych. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Yo, hey, they were abusing this uh, five-year-old but, child. You but like... Gohan, like, Gohan played him, and then when he was twenty together, 
that rage. I was like, <laughs> what happened again? Oh, no, Gohan tricks uh, Vegeta, ne? because he tricks him into thinking he doesn't have a Dragon Ball. Right. So Vegeta then gives him that whole speech where he knees him and all of that stuff. Mm. Gohan plays it off. I mean, it's painful, but Gohan plays it off and runs away with the Dragon Ball. Mm. Then Vegeta says, wait a minute. He, okay. he had, and then after that, you just see like him screaming. His eyes. Uh, yeah. Those bloodshot eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Like, if he could have gone Super Saiyan, if he was going to go Super Saiyan, that would have been the time. I, was, I think I was, I remember the first time I saw it, I was at the bus, I was at the bus <laughs> stop going home. Mm. So remember, because sometimes when you go home late, you end up watching this thing at the TV stores. Yeah. <laughs> All the TV stores started playing Dragon Ball Z. So we're watching this, and this child is watching it with his mom, and then when Vegeta's rage stepped, I just had this child, Mama, what's cool, sir? <laughs> 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 Okay, for those who don't understand, what it meant is, like, child was saying, Mom, this guy is scary. <laughs> oh, that's so good! Oh. But, uh, look, you see, you see, you see how much we, we're talking about Vegeta and what he did and what he didn't. That's why I'm saying he carried the story forward. And one other thing that I wanted to mention is, Gohan and Krillin were not the strongest there, but they were so strategic. Almost every move they made was so strategic. Oh, Oh, all of all them but there. one. All but one. Bummer. I think there's just one that Krillin let me down, and I was like, Esa. What happened? What? We'll have to get. We'll get to it when we get to it. Okay. I think let's let's keep going. I'll bring then, it up. So the only thing, to work together. The only thing that was stopping Freezer from actually summoning the dragon at that time, once he had all seven, was that he couldn't speak Namekian. Yeah. Which I think for me is is kind of a retcon. Yeah. No, it's not. No, no, no. Because remember, this is Namekian Dragon Balls. So what they established is that it only respond like the Earth Dragon Balls respond to Earth languages. Oh. The Namekian Dragon Balls respond to the Namekian language. If the it only, yeah, yeah, yeah. English and understand English, he still needed to and un- to his orders. So okay, the wish still had to be spoken in Buru- in Namekian. I think. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Because they're born of the planet. So depending yeah. on where you get the, the Dragon Balls from, you have to speak the language of that planet to make those Dragon Balls work. Also, I think we get introduced to a character which I believe has inspired all other healing characters in any other manga after. Dende. Dende, Dende's ability I'm not so sure to, about that. But Dende's ability to heal... For me, is why we have Orahime. Is why we have uh, who's that girl in Naruto? The the Hokage in Naruto. Tsunade. Tsunade. You know why I'm saying that? Uh-huh. It's think, a similar posture, yeah. I think uh, I think anime before didn't like that before didn't really have people that had healing abilities like that. But once Dende was introduced, I just feel like you needed a healing okay. person in a team. I mean, okay. think about it. Which mm. other? Which other which other shonen property had that before Dragon Ball that you can think? Of? Wait, what year was Yu Yu Hakusho? Yu Yu Hakusho, I think, was in the nineties. Dragon Ball at that time was it was in the eighties. Maybe. May, I, I could be wrong. I, I mean, uh, you guys could, in the we, comments we could, can. We could start corrected. Yeah, I, you can correct I, me if I'm I, wrong I, in the comments, but I think I can already feel. In my Someone story. is mad somewhere. Someone is typing. <laughs> let, let, wait, wait. Let, let me do my Jedi pose. Let me do my Jedi pose. <laughs> I sense the force. Someone is going to be correcting us on this matter. <laughs> Please, by all means, correct us. But I personally think that's what happened. Because remember, Oda, Kubo, Kishimoto were all inspired by Dragon Ball Z. In fact. Yeah, yeah. So, it, wasn't there a healer in Saint Seiya? Saint Seiya? No, Saint Seiya, they had a healing ability, I think, okay. from what I remember. But I only watched some of that because I, I was trying to watch that animation and it doesn't look terrible, but like they, they repeat stuff too many times. I was yeah. like, yo, I, I've seen this attack already. Can I see something That's else? New. Pegasus like, Meteor punch. punch! Every five minutes, Pegasus Meteor <laughs> Punch! Channel your Cosmo! 
<laughs> I liked it as a kid. I loved it as a kid because it played on SABC One. I, yeah. I I remember that. But like, I tried to rewatch it, and I was like, Yo, I, these guys repeat animation way too many times. Like Dragon Ball Z, the reason it was nice is because it was kinetic. So right. even if they were repeating, you didn't notice. Yeah. But every time Mega me is saying Media Punch, it's like, okay, I've seen this thing. I don't know how many times. Unless you're me, who used to after. I think I, I I I did I did explain this before that I recorded the the heck out of this thing right. Out of uh, out of uh, out of Dragon Ball Z. Oh. oh yeah, you did. Yeah, I've got VHS tapes like crazy. So what I did was, in my obsession, I would literally slow the thing down and play this thing frame by frame to see each combat. <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh, I get you, and it was amazing, right? <laughs> I mean, guys, the, the hey. opening song alone, the, the Rock the Dragon song, mm-hmm. obviously they took clips from the movies, like Tree of Might. And, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And w- that other one where he gets... Uh, it does Tree of Might. And the Namekian. Eh? The, the Namekian he was... Uh, Lord Slug. I think they took some stuff from Slug. Yes, Slug yes. Movie. Especially when he was That's fighting those two... The green guy and the when he was yeah. the purple. That that wasn't that wasn't lost like it was garlic junior. Oh, oh okay. yes, 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 yes. I was I was looking for that name. It was garlic junior, Lo- tree of might, and there was another one. Garlic junior is where he, he was fighting all those guys at the same time. That yeah, 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 yeah. Just take- yeah. <laughs> that was so cool, man. Aye, that powerful. I've ne- I haven't seen that, it since. Yeah, that it was basically cool. from those two movies actually because yes, when Goku was busy backflipping from that ice, it was from yeah. <laughs> Of you know, you know, one of my one of my favorite parts in that in that okay, there's a lot of parts that are like obviously when Tien is doing the because when it starts, the first person you see is Tien doing the yeah, yeah. solar flare. Solar flare. The most useful move in Dragon Ball Z. I that say don't use. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For me, the, the part where Goku is running and then as he turns, it's like there's a small beam that he does, just a small, like an instantaneous one. I think it's three of might, and then he runs back. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, yeah. yeah. oh, that yeah. was so cool, man. That yeah. was so cool. Then, ah, no, that that opening, that and then Gohan does the front flip into the Masenko. <laughs> 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 ah, dude. Oh god, yeah. I, like, like, I used to look forward oh, to those parts. I, I always felt like we're gonna see and this, I, but I didn't I, know that was the movie. <laughs> I always felt like, yo, I'm waiting for the time Goku's gonna be fighting these guys <laughs> at the same time. Yes. So, uh, we never got that. Yes. And I'm. Uh, and I think the other thing that we also learned, we also see from the, uh, I call, I'm going to call it the Freezer Saga because that's what I remember as, yeah. uh, is that we are, we are noticing a slow move away from the obsession from developing new techniques into developing more power. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I mean, I would even say we did that in the Saiyan Saga, honestly, because Goku didn't mm. whip out anything new. He was just yeah. using what was most effective. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, Ken was lent, it was lent at that point. So yeah, yeah, yeah. but you're right. I like your comment because I remember, even though we'll get there, huh? um, I remember when we started realizing that there's no way in hell Goku's gonna win. And Tina's like, relax, guys. Goku still has the K O Ken. It was it was idiot. It wasn't Tien. <laughs> it was Tien. <laughs> it, it was Yamcha. No, it was Tien, trust me. You Tien t- made that that comment. And Master King Kao was like, dude, you idiot. This guy has been using the, using the, 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 whole, the time. whole time. <laughs> it was a moment every, every single kid in the world was like, oh no. Oh no. Yeah. Because I like that they showed ex- those scenes again, but this time with the KO can on, activated. Uh, we, okay, we, but we, we, we're skipping, we're skipping. We gotta get to Vegeta versus Frieza. We gotta, we gotta start wait, there. Oh, wait, wait, we're still on Vegeta versus Rakum. How did he lose that? Oh fight? yeah. Okay, no. so he got, he got, he got, he, he took a beam to the face. He did nothing. <laughs> then Is Raccoon it? counterattacks. And <laughs> if I I want like that, I thought the beatdown he got from Zabon was bad. Yeah. It was humiliating. But that beatdown from Raccoon, I mean that that counter. And then he like, oh okay, you're flying up. you t- you think you're faster than me. He chases him. He throws him he shot down. Everyone's like, yay! He dodges that. Knees to the back of the head. Yo. <laughs> No, oh, a power bomb into, into, into the, the ground. Yo, I, also, I, at this time, by the way, to whoever's watching this and has never seen Dragon Ball ever, at this time, Vegeta had already killed three of Fritizo's henchmen. Yes. He, he killed Kui, then he Kui. killed... 
and he he to, he showed Kui that he learned to hide his power yeah. at Earth. Then he killed Dodoria. Then he killed Zabon. But Zabon was tough because Zabon had to trans could transform. Uh, but eventually he he killed him. But then now, the other thing is we have to remember Vegeta. It took everybody to take him down in the Saiyan saga. You yeah. know this man to be a bad man. Like you know yeah. he's like the biggest. Yeah. Like Goku didn't beat him in the Saiyan saga. Yeah. It took a combined effort of Gohan falling on yeah. him and he was power, the last man like everything. Vegeta and, was the last man standing. Basically. And I think that's where that's what gave birth to the trope of the villain is now a playable character. Because, <laughs> I mean, look at every single game. All of the games. And also... Once Shao the... Kahn becomes a playable character, he is so useless. Yeah. I'm talking to you, MK11 fans. <laughs> That's true. Wait, are they? who are they using? Are they using Shao Kahn? The, yeah, yeah, in he's MK11. Back. He's, he's, he's a playable character. Uh, and it's, it's, like, it's like using uh, Shantou. Shantou as a character or Rugal in King of Fighters. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 <laughs> his move set is giving Zimbabwe. I was like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> so slow. So the, the, you can punish him at every single moment. No, no, nobody uses nobody uses Shao Kahn. Okay, then once again, I can sense somebody's going to be commenting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now, right now, someone is someone is saying, finish him. Yeah, <laughs> no, you can finish me. It's fine. Tie it. Tie it. <laughs> you know. um, anyway, then we have, after that beatdown, and Vegeta was pulled up like a literal vegetable, yeah. it takes a beat, blasts him in the face, still does nothing. The other two guys decide to intervene. <laughs> I think, you know what was also more disrespectful? That yeah. Rukum was like tattered and naked and his and his ass was showing and everything and he's posing with it and he's still beating you up. It's like, I my guy. It he's trying with you. Like, well, like you know, at least knuckle up a little bit. What's this? Like, already you're defeating me. Now you're posing like you're on a runway. Ah, my he was, guy. He was, he was having fun. Jesse? Jace. Jace? I mean, sorry, sorry, Bata, Jace, and Ginyu haven't even touched anybody at this at point. At that point. Yeah. And then enter Krillin, who made the guy, who shut this guy's mouth. And the only thing he does after that is take a kick to the face and he is out. <laughs> <laughs> not, <laughs> well, not like... Oh wow, he took a hit. Let me get back up. Uh, KO. Distract him while I just this attack or something like that. Out. <laughs> and I told you, uh, after Raditz landed, they beat the plot armor out of Krillin. Nothing <laughs> helped them after that. After that, it's so in like El City. So he's like better than Yamcha because at least he still tries. But yeah. Yeah. So Ryama's like, I'm not going to kill you. But, but I'm going to make, make sure that you get a beating of a lifetime. Uh, no, I'm not going to kill you, but I damn sure well, I'm going to make you wish you were, I, I, I killed you. Yeah. <laughs> like, after that beat down, oh, I'm so sorry. They're like, it was that. And then Gohan. Gohan lasted the longest. Yeah. But it, it didn't feel like a fight. It felt like Torture. Was, was playing with his prey. <laughs> yeah, that was the first that was the first Popovich we had, and moment. Eh? We, we had this beautiful speech from Gohan. I... I'm the son of Son Goku. I am the student of Piccolo. You, I know that he's like this romantic. You can see tears in his eyes. He's like, yeah. <laughs> you know, if 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 Hollywood was smart, they should they should have used some of the the WWE actors to play the Ginyu Force. I see I see John Cena playing that part, bro. <laughs> like, like, uh... <laughs> Rakum, Rakum, yeah, and it was based on the rest of the Greek. Rakum, Rakum. You can't see me go hard. No, <laughs> my time is now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
No, but I, you are. Shout out to my, shout out to my boy Gohan. He's still my favorite character of Dragon Ball Z. But you are. Yeah, that, that was the most stressed. That was the most stressed seven-year-old in all of fiction. Every day he was fighting for his life. <laughs> Honest to God, how did you grow to be th- so normal? That's that's the biggest. Th- I'm pretty sure Chichi was his therapist. It's like he was beating him, and but at the, at, at the end of the day, I was like, sit down. We need to talk. I think Piccolo kept insane. Yeah, no, no, it must have been Piccolo. Piccolo yeah. became his therapist. <laughs> I think people, Piccolo kept them sane. Like, I think all that stuff that he went through as a kid, as a five-year-old, yeah. prepared him for, for anything in life. Except so, Videl, but, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you don't say that name here. <laughs> what Videl? <laughs> Videl is Chichi part two, guys, yeah. Ah, she's better than Chi-Chi, in my opinion. No, she is. I feel like once she cut her hair, I feel like she's a completely different character. Yeah, she stopped being a spoiled brat. She, when she got humbled on, on, the, on the... We'll get to the boo arc. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We'll, we'll get but to anyway, the boo arc. But um, she became a decent person when she got humbled properly <laughs> on, on the ring. And instantly okay. fell in love with Gohan. But anyway. <laughs> um, so, okay. At this point, things are so bad that Goku lands to Namek senses the power, rushes to the scene. Sensu Bean. No, I think the first... Oh, yeah. He, 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 lands, bean. he throws the Sensu Bean and then Rokumi is trying to catch it, but it goes he, through He his. gave the Sensu Bean to Vegeta. Like, the, the, the dumbest move. He, but then again, that's Goku for you. Goku is always... If, if anything, is fair. But, I mean, yeah, because when he rocked up, he was seeing that Vegeta is fighting these guys. He's seeing that Gohan and Krillin are fighting these guys. So, he automatically makes the assumption that Vegeta's on their no, side. No, no, no. He gave him, he gave him the sense to be after he did the mind absorption. Yeah, but I'm just saying, like, <laughs> other people would not give Vegeta a sense to be, even but, if, because they're just no, like, I remember you, but, like, yeah. Gohan, Goku's you like... My, you uh, my yeah. last time. You're <laughs> like, remember my legs? Remember my ribs? How does it feel now, Vegeta? How does it feel now? <laughs> Yo, petty Goku would be so funny. If Goku was that petty, that would be so hilarious. If he was like, yeah, no. Can you can you reach? Can you reach? <laughs> how how you feel? Jump, jump, <laughs> jump, even, so I'll be even worse. I'll be, I'll, my, my pettiness would be like, look, take this. Eta, <laughs> eta. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, he gives him the sense of being. Then yeah, he fights Raccoon. It's he's out within minutes, a second. Ooh, Done. One shot, oh, bro. Sorry, I saw an opening and I decided to go for it. And uh, and he just said attack, so I did. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Vegeta was Vegeta yeah. was in existence when Jace and Bernard attacked, and that moment where oh. Jace shot him with those key blasts, and they went through him. <laughs> That was an just, iconic no, you, like, you, I was watching it with my cousin at the time because he was a big Vegeta fan. He was a big, big Vegeta fan. Yeah. He was like, nah, yeah, he's staring his ear. Ah, the, yeah, way yeah, Vegeta, yeah. the way Vegeta <laughs> lost his ear, she's like... Mm. You know, like you know, so fast he can't be detected by Saiyan eyes. My friend, my friend Rob says that at that time, Vegeta was the Saiyan guidebook. Yeah, 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 yeah he, he was. was we we didn't we wouldn't have appreciated the Super Saiyan transformation so much mm. had, had Vegeta not hyped it up for that long. In, in yeah. fact, we never knew about this prophecy about this Vegeta thing, and that's where you can see it's, yeah it's, it is plot centric, mm. but you can understand every if you notice every good shonen story there uh, one way or another a prophecy comes to play at yeah. some point. Yeah. yeah, I know sometimes it's irritating, but sometimes it sometimes it works and. No, but I mean, you know, also everybody's the staring somehow in, yeah. in yeah. the in the in, in like yeah. in shonen. There's yeah. there's like I haven't seen one shonen where there's no like destiny of some kind, because you know you have to be the chosen one of some hey. sort. And it's always you, it always gets revealed as things go along. And at the beginning, you're supposed to be just some normal guy, mm. and then the plot reveals like, no, you were never normal. You were never the underdog. <laughs> you were <laughs> never. Spent to what what, what makes you think? <laughs> You yeah. are literally you go uh, Naruto. You are literally the son of the fourth Hokage. Mm. The father that didn't help him though. The father <laughs> smartest ninja, and then your mom is literally a power bank of chakra. Ah, but that's the third Hokage's fault. So. That didn't help him at all. 
Wow. No one kid. <laughs> Which I was like, no, they know who this guy, who, who his Did dad they? is. But they, they, they didn't. Uh, they uh, didn't uh, no, no, they did. I'm, no, yes, you I can't do. tell me people don't have eyes. As soon as you go into the third old Kage's office, you can't tell me nobody put two and two together. Blue eyes, blonde hair. That's not a regular combination in the Leaf Village. Look, if Naruto was in South Africa, those women in Konoha would have told Naruto long, when up a pocket? Like, they would have told him <laughs> yeah. a long time ago. Your dad is the fourth, bro. But, but like, at, the same, at the same time, they all hated it for some reason. I think all they just saw was the Jinchuriki. They didn't see him as... Yeah. No, actually, what happened is... is um, And this is... We'll, we'll get back to Dragon Ball Z tangent. But actually, what happened is... <laughs> Danzo told everyone in the Leaf Village where the Jinjuriki was housed after it destroyed the Leaf Village. So he, the the whole idea was that he was trying to unite the village through hatred of the Jinjuriki because he was like, if we're all united, we can move forward somehow. Danzo is one of my most hated characters in all shonen. No, I like I I, like, I, I, I thought Sasuke you. was wiling, but when Sasuke got him, I was like, yeah, Mulat, get I, me. <laughs> Yeah, the, Sasuke, the cathartic Sasuke. energy I was feeling when I saw Danzo running in a way and he was like, oh, oh, and Sasuke <laughs> was walking, I was like, savor it. Don't walk too fast. <laughs> Sasuke <laughs> is like the second main character in that whole show. Sasuke. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm not going to say it again. Let me just keep my mouth shut. <laughs> my my intuitive my thoughts will not win this time. Okay, because let's, because he, let's get back to Dragon Ball Z. Let's get yeah. back to Dragon Ball Z. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, okay we'll so, do another we'll do yeah. another discussion. Some oh, time. I would love to do that. I would love yeah. to. Oh, no, no. Oh, we'll get there. Okay, no, we'll, we'll get there because okay. uh, we'll explain because there's something like, something we about that. and all those things. Yeah, we, we have a roster. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. So anyway, Beta and Jace are trying to touch this guy, but to us it seems like Goku's not moving, but Vegeta because he's slightly stronger. He can see that no, Goku is moving. He didn't see him. No, he didn't, yeah. But, when no, but he's, he's the only person that can comprehend what's comprehend happening. What's yeah. Yeah. Jace and Berta don't understand what's because, going on. Yeah. Because he said he's moving faster than Saiyan eyes. And I'm thinking, what's the big deal about Saiyan eyes anyway? Exactly. But anyway, so... Because before, I thought, I thought they were just toying with him. I thought they were just calling his bluff. Like, okay, they were yeah. just bluffing. Like, when they get next to him, they're not going to fight. They're just going to walk past him to see his reaction. No, only to find out they were actually really trying to attack him, but... And he was just like... Hey, <laughs> guys, I felt so the, sorry for Berta. The, dis- the disrespect! I felt so sorry for Berta, because Goku was so disrespectful. He was, he like, the mouth. second fastest. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, you. <laughs> and that's what I liked about Goku. Goku's, Goku's uh, responses... Because even Napa was saying, I'm the second strong and saying, it's like, well, now you're the third. You know? He's like, no, CD. <laughs> he, then he said, if your friend over there is the strong, is stronger than you, then you're the third. That's what yeah. he said. Yeah. I was like, ah, yeah. audacity. <laughs> <laughs> no, and then he stood on his head. I was like, Goku gets disrespectful when he's powerful. Like, yeah, 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 like, you I, know. That, he, that, like, once like, again, we got to see that pose. Not, but I'm saying, like, when we get to Berta, the way he was embarrassing, but it was unnecessary. Oh, like, yeah. like he, he was, he was like behind you. It's like ah, I'm gonna. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, that's true. He flies, yeah, no, he, he really flies humbled, away. He and that's him. when I think when Jace, when he lets Jace fly away, that's when Vegeta started doubting the prophecies. Like, no, this can't be a Super Saiyan. Super mm. Saiyans don't let people live. We take them out. We take these people out. <laughs> and then Vegeta's like, let me show you how it's done. Go. <laughs> Quick, <laughs> faster, in a hurry. See, if you pay attention, I love that. Did you know? Did you know? Killed speech. the entire Guinea force. Wait, didn't who killed Berta? No, he killed Berta. He killed Berta. Vegeta killed. Yeah, he he, he, he took. Yeah, he killed all. Beat him in the throat. Wait, didn't Goku kill Raccoon? No. no. Vegeta kills Raccoon also. Goku was like, they're so weak, they're not even worth killing. And I was like... <laughs> well, not, not even that. He was saying that they can't fight anymore, so there's no need to. And and yeah. then Vegeta gives that speech. I think that was the one that made a lot of Vegeta fans, where he's like, they're warriors, Kakarot. They'll take your kids hostage. They'll do this, they'll do that. 
these people are ruthless. This is how you deal with them or whatever. And everybody was like, yo, Vegeta. Like my cousin was my cousin was like, Yeah, no, he doesn't have the powers, but he's got the bars. <laughs> but but that's what I also always liked about Vegeta. Vegeta for me, I feel like he's like Batman in a sense that the way he's logical about things. Yeah, but sometimes. sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. When, like, when we get example. to it, when we get to it, you yeah. know what I'm talking about. Yeah, uh, I just want to give an example, even though it's a different arc. After they, they killed Kid Buu, Vegeta still wanted to kill Majin Buu. It's like, dude, this guy one day can just... <laughs> <laughs> Let's finish him off now, because... The day he decides to destroy the planet again was screwed. Goku's like, ah, let him go. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, oh. Vegeta. No, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm trying. I'm trying to to. I've said a lot of things about Vegeta, but there's still zero love for him in my heart. Everyone I love that. Vegeta. He's uh, my favorite. I love. I, I, I feel I love like Vegeta. for me, the reason I'm saying is like Batman. It's like as you get older, you understand some of the things that he said or how he. How he was thinking. When you're a kid, you're like you like Superman, which is Goku's like you like the flying there. But as you get older, the the way that guy thinks, you're like, man, actually this guy makes a lot of sense. Again, sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes. Not always. Maybe I'm idealistic, but still no. Vegeta still as much as we are tr- the story is geared for us to empathize with him. And let's don't let's not get the three. The story is designed for us to feel something for him. We still see somebody who doesn't. Even later on, you don't see somebody who connects to uh, the idea that mass murdering a planet is wrong. No, I mean he 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 gets it eventually because um, in the Boo Saga, it's his idea to use the spirit bomb because he's like, if we don't stop Kid Boo here, he's going to destroy the planet. And he, yes, and he was also the one that said that Kakarot, why didn't you grab your children? Yeah. Why did you grab Hercule and De- and Dende? And Dende? And and so also, uh, he gets it eventually. Also, he destroyed. He he he, he killed himself trying to dis- to save the planet. Uh-huh. Don't know. Ah, the- come on, Develo, you can't tell me anyway. Ah, uh, come on, dog. Not even an ounce of. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's get uh, to you the what? Boo saga later. We'll get to the Boo saga later. So we'll, we'll get we'll get to the Boo saga, but let me get let me get to the 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 thing. That, yes, Vegeta at that point, to me at that point, he's still a bitch. Okay, a crafty we'll, bitch. We'll discuss it we'll in the Boo saga. We'll a crafty let's, bitch, let's but he's co- still a bitch. I mean, let's let's they, continue. They, he, there's Captain Ginyu. There's Jace. <laughs> right. He's going to fight against Goku and. Uh, Goku and Vegeta, they're like, Vegeta's like, I'm right by your side, Goku, Kakarot. <laughs> and then like, two seconds later, I'm like, peace! <laughs> I laughed. I laughed. I couldn't believe it. I laughed. Ooh, I was like, yo, Ajits. Ajits. Yeah. You know, you mentioned something about plot, plot armor earlier on. Yeah. You remember there was a scene where Captain Ginyu held Goku from behind? And Goku could not do anything. You know that move when someone is holding like yeah. they <laughs> hold like this. Oh, it's the one where it's the one where Reddit couldn't do anything because Goku yeah. hit him with it and was yeah, but, but full Goku, Goku was holding him like this, right? Yeah. No, but like, like, he, he, like him, Go, Ginyu was holding him like this. Goku, no, was, also Goku, him like Goku this. was also holding him like this. <laughs> holding who Ginyu? No, yeah, yeah, Reddit. Reddit. Oh. And the thing is, you were just like, we just saw Reddit speed blitz these guys, hoy them around. Why is he defeated by the full Nelson? <laughs> yeah. And waiting for this. <laughs> defeated him via WWE moves. That's a <laughs> WWE hold. <laughs> but also, yeah, at that moment, you know what I'm saying is plot armor. Can you let him go? Like, that was the one moment to kill this guy. No, no, no. Why did Ginyu let him go? I can't remember. Because I think, I think he realized how powerful, because I think he sensed his power and then he realized, I think the sculptor, I, I don't remember. Oh, no, 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 no. This is why you let him go, because Ginyu wanted his body. Like, you have to remember, Ginyu's got ah. that body swapping technique. So the minute he saw, because he was, he was talking about uh, 120,000, 120,000, and then Goku, and then Goku was, hit. And then Goku hit Kyo Ken, and then it was uh, what was the number? I right, develop maybe one hundred and eighty thousand. Oh my God, go. I'm, I'm your encyclopedia. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. I was ailing encyclopedia. Nice one. 
When the power scaling matters, <laughs> Kawara, we'll get to the cell saga and then it won't matter anymore. You won't have to remember. Technically, I still remember the power levels. Even if I say it's like I remember, I, I had that magazine. Oh. <laughs> That's pretty cool. But anyway, cool. um, at this point, Jace feels useless, in my opinion. Jace was always useless. No, he was big time. Yeah. He was, J- Jace and Gold, at least at the time stop, Jace was just like the, you know, you know, have you ever seen in a house where like there's huge dogs and then there's the chihuahua? Yeah. For me, that was Jace. Yeah. No, <laughs> they, you got to give him a little bit more credit than that. He was more useful than Goldo. But like, yeah, no. Well, when Vegeta was... takes him out, when Vegeta okay. takes him out, that was that was very satisfying for me. Yeah. One of the best, one of the best moments in my opinion. Boom. Like that's the other thing. When Vegeta's <laughs> no! winning, when he's flexing, he's one of the best characters in Shonen. Whenever Vegeta's flexing, you're like, but you are. When the tables turn. <laughs> 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 I mean, remember the part, the whole mess. It started when Ginyu took Goku's body, and it was a lesson on working on Goku, Goku's ultimate weakness, is that he is very compassionate. Mm. He loves the fight. He doesn't love to destroy. Right. Yeah, he, he loves fighting. Fighting is like exercising for him. So it's like, yeah. And, and, and Vegeta took gets, full advantage. I've never seen Vegeta so, so happy to fight somebody. <laughs> so, so, did, so did Ginyu. Because Ginyu saw that like, when, when, when he realized just how powerful Goku is, and then Goku, uh, Goku said, no, I'll, if you promise not to do all this evil thing, I'll let you go. And then Ginyu's like, whoa, hold up. What? Huh? Okay. No, no, I got something for you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, talking about the, I'm talking about the body swap. After the yeah, body swap, Vegeta was so swap. happy to find, so happy to find Ginyu. He was oh, so happy. Oh, oh, that ass, that ass whipping, and the, <laughs> even to this day, even to this day, I, I still remember, I still remember the track that was playing, the music soundtrack that was playing at that moment. It's that's how, it's, that's how it's scarred in my back of my, in the back of my brain. Oh, Vegeta, Vegeta defeated Ginyu in Goku's yeah. body. Oh, no, no. big time. Because because no, no, Ginyu was not experienced with. It wasn't Vegeta at that point. It was a combination of Vegeta, Gohan, and. Uh, it, no, I'm saying, but Vegeta got like the most punches in because he wanted it. Like yeah. he pushed other people out the but way to, to as, fight. <laughs> as soon as Ginyu had his body back, and you just saw Vegeta I was like, "I hold up, <laughs> yeah, that beat down." Yeah. <laughs> that a uh, one uh, side note. I, I just want to talk about how um, when people say that Goku didn't care about Chi Chi or whatever, and the stuff that I read. One of the first things that he thinks about is that he was like, I gotta get my body back. Chi Chi won't like this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, the, who was it just having the daydream about Goku? Go- 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 it was Gohan. <laughs> On Nimbus, yeah. Yeah. helping me with homework <laughs> as Ginyu, bro. <laughs> oh, that, that is scarring. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that so, was Because Ginyu looks like, like a brain, like a. Like you a know? Like, yeah. Yeah. Brain. The brain with oh, I, horns. I, I, like, I, I like your analogy. I was about to go a little weirder. Yeah, so we'll keep it PG thirteen. Because <laughs> <laughs> that that for me it looked you like. Still want to get monetized, Chief. <laughs> but but he, okay, I'll use the scientific terms. He looked like an upside down scrotum. Oh, oh. <laughs> that's what I every time I saw that. Like, ugh. <laughs> Um, so at this point, Ginyu is severely injured. Goku needed some medical attention. Uh, Vegeta gives Krillin and Gohan. No, remember, he gets turned into a frog. Yes, Ginyu gets Goku. turned into a frog, which... and then it gets then it gets tricked into not killing him by Vegeta. By okay, Goku. wait, I, f- I feel like we sp- skipped a very important thing. Yeah, um, there was a character skip? called Nail who looked exactly like Piccolo. There was, um, oh, yeah, but. A big guardian called Goro. We missed that. We we yeah. already. Oh, uh, uh, the calm, uh, the guru. Uh, guru yeah. guru yeah. was was like the kami of that planet. Yeah, big humongous guy. Can like can we also talk about how that power up didn't help anybody? It did. that power that... up that he that he gave. <laughs> I've never used those power ups. Krillin never used that full power. potential. Nonsense. Oh no 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 no! <laughs> we, we we see its effect. I mean, after before the power up, when 
Quillen was flying, there was no vapor trail. It was just one big ass Quillen flying. After that, you just see this KKN like white vapor trail that is created because of the key the key can generate now. Oh, we do see that. But doesn't help <laughs> against the Ginyus, against Vegeta. I mean, even <laughs> Vegeta was shocked when he saw Gohan with power power was like, wow. But at the same time, like I could still eat you for breakfast though. Yeah. The, the 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 one person who would have like it would have made sense if Goku got that. Yeah, I guess so. But then at that point, Goku was like OP already. Yeah, so, he didn't. He didn't need it. Also, and, can we talk about um thingy when Piccolo gets um the the nail power up and then he's like, yes, 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 yes I, I can do it. I yes. feel great. I feel great. Yes. <laughs> you know, I thought that was a, a TFS four star joke. I don't know why. It, it was original. Yeah, yeah, and then I went to the I went on rewatch it again. I was like, oh, wait, I, that's that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a, <laughs> I, I remember it because that's why you have the again, we have Piccolo's theme song. That was the first time you hear that song. Ting ting ting. That song, that song is like who who's that guy who was doing the song? Is it Brian Fal- Bruce Falconer? Bruce Falconer. Bruce Falconer is Bruce Falconer is like the composer of the age that is who's un, who's unsung. We yeah. we hear all about uh, Hans Zimmer. Hans Zimmer, who for yeah. me is. People are gonna kill me, but Hans Zimmer for me is a solid number three. It's not even number. He's not even num- he's not number. Compared to John Williams, oh wow! Oh, come on, like okay, come on. You cannot be. come on. It's John it's Williams. It's John and Williams. Come on. That's number two. Even though his works only his works only features around one franchise so much, but Howard Shaw takes it. What he, did he do? Lord of the Rings. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but yo, there's this take it, lick it, lick it, take it, lick it, lick it, take it, lick it, lick it from Bruce. Yes, yo, that is a. And no, I, that guy, that guy, he made like the Dragon Ball franchise. What it is now, it, it, it would not be what it is without Bruce. Like Vegeta's theme song, when Vegeta's winning, that ding, 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 like you hear some bells type of thing. Yeah. And you're gonna get to the the reason why Cell, the Cell Saga is my favorite is because that's where his music really popped off. If you really pay attention. Oh. <laughs> the Freezer arc, his music was still really getting there. Yeah. Ah, no, but that, like he would even do like those that like like that fight music and also Ish, we're skipping. Okay, let's get okay. to let's get to. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to the. Yes, sorry, like. sorry, we we keep we keep doing this, but that's how it is. It's, it's, it's too it's much stuff love. to talk about. Okay, so let's 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 get to let's get to we'll we'll, we'll get to second form cell. I mean, the second form cell, second form freezer. Yeah. yeah. Second form, which is my favorite form of his. Yeah. I, I, that's my favorite design of his. I, the I, horns I, and everything. I I love that form. I call that okay, so hate. so what happens is. Frieza fights. I don't remember who he fought. I think he fought with Vegeta. He fights Vegeta first, and okay. then he says, yeah, it's like, oh. "Okay, it's time for me to flex now." No, because he, he, not, not even your father, not even your father saw well, this. Goes to see this because he can't, he catches the face. They both, and that's the one thing that I never, as much as I love Dragon Ball Z, that whole grabbing each other and screaming at each other thing never, never resonated. <laughs> it never like, makes sense. Like, what are you doing? Oh, oh, guys, it was yeah. epic. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. like for me, it's like the fight with Goku and Vegeta when they were using their their the knees. Um, their knees. Yeah. Like, yeah. No, we're, we're, we're testing the powers, my guy. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> anyway, so that happens. Freeza Scouter finally blows up because it senses Vegeta's power level is going wee. Yeah. And then Freeza decides to tell him, I killed your dad. And yeah. he never got to see this. And yeah. then, boom. Now, first, he, he blows off his chest. <laughs> his, his armor. It's like, mm. ta-da, I've transformed. And then Vegeta's like, Vegeta's like stop lying to me. That's not a transformed state. Okay, fine then. <laughs> then then Piccolo get, comes in. Then you get to see that his power level is over a million. <laughs> right. And, and you just get to see them get molly warped. Yeah. I, Dragon Ball Z is one thing. And if you don't have the and, power level, you're going to have a bad time. And then, <laughs> was, 
and that's is... the second time you see bitch Vegeta come out. You see, the first time was when he left <laughs> Captain Genie. The second time bitch Vegeta showed up was when he when it's like Piccolo is fighting against <laughs> against Freezer, and he decides peace. <laughs> This is, but this, like, so, this is also when um, Frieza basically uses his horn to yeah Eish. to stab Krillin Eish. and to play around. Krillin, Krillin is catching another one. Yo, yeah, I, that guy has not been having a good time. Yo, ever one. since that tale from Reddit, I'm telling you, <laughs> ever since that tale from Reddit, that thing just came with bad omens for Krillin's character. It debuffed him. It's just reduction. <laughs> Like Ooh. in Dragon Ball, he was respected. He was the second of Goku. He was fighting with everybody. As soon yeah. as that Reddit's tail came in, all of that out the window. That's true. Then he, oh wait, Vegeta, Vegeta runs away. Freezer catches him and says, where, where are you going? Mm. <laughs> Bitch, you're getting this L today. There ain't no way you're running from this. <laughs> not going anywhere. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> We also get the point where the guys betrayed Vegeta. We forgot about that scene where the guys betrayed Vegeta and did all that wishing with the dragon. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. While yeah, yeah. Vegeta was conveniently taking his, uh, taking a nap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love that dragon we... TFS. It's like, what are you doing? What am I doing? Thought my plan. Thought your plans, me? Are you? Maybe. Yes. <laughs> uh, yes I'm going to have to kill you. <laughs> Sorry? What did, wish for? what did they wish for? Uh, uh, to get some people back on oh Piccolo because they, they bring they, Piccolo back. Oh they yes, brought Piccolo back, and then with the second wish, they wished Piccolo to be in Namek. Yeah. Oh. Okay. And then they, the the reason they concluded that is because then if Piccolo comes back, Kami comes back, and with Kami back, they can use the Earth Dragon Balls to wish back. Yeah. Uh, Everyone else. Well, technically, that wish back only Yamcha and Tien. <laughs> Because Chels 2 had already been dead. At the time. No, they were also they were also trying to wish back everybody that died from the Saiyans and all of that stuff and yes, all, all of that damage. Yeah. Kind of and and they, I want I want to get to that. There's a massive plot hole <laughs> we have to discuss. I think you know just it. one. Okay. Yeah. But, but, I think but, it's 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 uh, Shenron's inability to bring the dead to life again or something. Is it oh that? no, no. I think somebody did did sort that out for me because I was like, why did you not wish Krillin back then? Right. Oh, right, 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 right. But then Krillin was already wished back before by the by the Earth Dragons. They'll need to, yeah. They'll need a Perinka to do it. So like, oh yeah. Because I was like, you wished everyone who was killed by Frieza and his men. And then Krillin was like, bitch. <laughs> mm. All right. So then we get to um, Piccolo versus Frieza, which like that was satisfying for the first jump when you know they were evenly matched. Yeah, and whatever. I, I really like that Piccolo was flexing and all of that stuff. It was like, it's son. Yeah, there, there's my man Piccolo. And then after that, Frieza's like, yeah, you know, I have yeah. another one. I have another form, by the way. And another <laughs> one. Yeah, and then DJ Khaled. DJ and, then, Khaled. and then that form, that form, what did they call it again? Um, it was that, he took it from that alien movie. Yeah, Alien. Alien. Oh, John, yeah, yeah, it was oh, called Alien, alien. from John Ridley. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, yes, yeah, John Ridley, there you go. Because I remember the line from a bridge. It's like, what do you think of my third form? I think John Ridley's going to sue. <laughs> what do you mean? Ah, da, 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 da. Let me touch your skin. <laughs> <laughs> That's my least favorite form of his. It looks so um, weird. His head is so big. It's, it's, it's his it's... favorite form ever. I mean, it's the most ugliest thing I've ever seen. And I've seen Sal. Like... But that's the thing about Toriyama. He made... He made some of these villains have ugly forms deliberately so that by the time we see the last one, we're like, whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What were you expecting in the final form? Oh, no. Oh, they're low. It's probably load shedding. I hope it's it's not uh, the laptop power. No, I mean, he, he said that he's got a backup unit. Oh, yeah. Anyway, we'll keep the show going until uh, Devilo comes back. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we we're talking about yeah, the form thing and everything. Yeah, I but like it, it, I think also Akira knew it was bad because he quickly went yeah, to Yeah, he quickly. He could... <laughs> but wait, what was Whatever, the reason? Get... That... Oh, oh, Devilo, you back. Devilo, you back. We we are seeing you flash. 
No, he'll, he'll come back. It's fine. All right. Eh. What was the reason? Because I remember the reason Frieza turned into, okay, Vegeta, fine. And then with the third form, it was Piccolo. Then he turned into the third form. But what made him turn into the fourth form? No, he was just, uh, it was a flexing thing. He was just like, I'm, I'm going to show you a power that you guys have never I'm seen sorry. before. Huh? Develo, are you there? Hey, sir. Uh, oh, he's oh. moving. He's moving. There's life. <laughs> Come back to us. <laughs> Can you hear me now? I think the video is giving, there's network issues because of this load shedding. Oh, oh yeah. okay, sharp. Yeah, but ah, can... just just leave your avatar there, bro. We'll 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 keep it going. I need to change that picture. Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you look yeah. like a Dragon Ball Z villain, my guy. You look like you're about to go fight Goku. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, and then we get to the final form of Frieza, which yeah. I think is still. Uh, not this gold, not this black, not the, whatever they're doing with Super, where they're changing him to be all the colors of the rainbow. Mm -hmm. I the, the original purple and white. Yeah. Yes. And, and that pose that he was doing there, that was one of my favorite villain poses to this day. And it's still, we also get to see the most villainous act he does. He kills Dende. He saw that Dende was the healer. Yeah. Because. You see, even then, Vegeta's busy plot is like, you, I need you to almost kill, kill and almost kill me, okay? And then Dende, <laughs> <laughs> Dende, heal me. And then Dende was like, no. And Krillin, Krillin was refusing, right? And then Vegeta was like, if no. you don't, I'll kill you. Yeah, no, 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 no. What happened is, is that Krillin was refusing. Then Krillin finally did it. Then Dende was refusing. And I was like... <laughs> and he and, went and, to go heal. He went to go heal Piccolo. And then yeah. people was like, dude... Do you see that? Do you see that man over there? He's gonna kill us all. We need Vegeta back. Yeah. Which was, and, and he was was still refusing Piccolo, but because he could hear Dende, I mean, he could hear Neil. Neil. Yeah. Talk, it was like, okay, fine. No, I and mean, like, like Piccolo was being real. It was just like, chief, there is nobody here. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah. then we've got the whole what you call it? Oh, then he heals Vegeta. And that while I was busy healing him, that's why Frieza saw him. He's like, oh, so you're the healer. That's why these people come back. Because let's be, let's be honest, Krillin should have been dead by that point because if it went for Dende. Yeah. 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 And then Krillin does the dumbest thing in history. First, you use your destructiveness to cut off this man's tail so you can see that it works. <laughs> right. This and was then, my, this is, this, the, yeah. And then. You go, you go chase off Frieza to make sure that he got enough time to heal Dende, and then you use the solar flare. This is what I'm talking about. And ah. at this moment, the guy is blinded. <laughs> what another destructive disc? <laughs> it's the perfect combination. You would have taken out so many villains. Nappa would be dead. Vegeta in the Saiyan saga, dead. Yeah. Frieza, dead. dead. <laughs> He's not the main character, so the story had to keep going. You know? I but I'm, I'm saying that's such a useful combination. Like that's what everybody was and, expecting. And it was even more it would have been even more effective against Freezer. Freezer can't sense energy. You could you could blame maybe others can say, Oh, okay. I'm sensing this energy attack coming from this direction. Let me jump or let me duck, let me run, or something like that. Freezer right. doesn't do that. <laughs> and you're right, you're right, uh Buck. I think in the last episode you were saying that that, that power was so effective that Vegeta used it. It is so effective in the saga as well that even Frieza uses it. <laughs> On himself. <laughs> Frieza, but here we see that Frieza, as much as we, we look, Frieza is not so much as a techno, techno freak. He's like a big powerhouse. Yeah. At that moment, that's when you see some of his technical skills because he, not just, he didn't just use a destructive disc. He used a destructive disc that he can control with his key. It was like a mixture between yes. the destructive disc and that uh, spirit wall from Yamcha. That, that, that Yamcha's thing, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. he was moving it alongside. But uh, let's get to... Okay, now we got to get to the first intro of Goku versus Frieza. The right. main event. So we got to talk about... Oh, no, actually, we're skipping something. We got to talk about the humiliation of Vegeta again. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes. You... I, I, can I, we talk, 
Can that we talk about painful. one of the best things I saw about that moment was when Vegeta powered up at that moment, it was an homage to the Saiyan saga, if you pay attention. How so? The animation. First, he powers up, there's the green dome that f- circles around him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then after that, there's the electricity. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then his eyes are white. And then his eyes slowly, the pupils slowly, <laughs> slowly come back. And then there's a big explosion. And he was still, he was still short Vegeta. Yeah, so that was like an homage to that that moment that we are supposed to get the feeling like, oh, that's badass Vegeta now. You're gonna see the best of him. And right. then <laughs> yeah, he was he was even talking to he was even talking to um Frieza. I begin to I've I finally begun to see the depths of my power. While you have reached the limit of yours, I have finally ascended. You know, they come ah. that you feared it was like looking at us like, no, you ain't. And I, I believed him, eh? I believed he was strong. <laughs> Yeah, but when Frieza was fighting, you realize, yo, my man. Yo, hey, Frieza, Frieza humiliate. <laughs> no, when he made Vegeta cry, my guys, like, <laughs> yes, that, yo. yo. Vegeta threw everything he had, and this man just kicked it into the air, and Vegeta was crying. I was Shut like, yo. That reminded that, me of something. And that was a Gallic gun. Don't tell me if it wasn't. That, that was a, that was a, that was a purplish beam that sh- that <laughs> that Vegeta shot to the planet. He didn't call it a Gallic gun, but it was a purple beam that could destroy a planet. <laughs> in my in my opinion, that was one of the best moments where Vegeta is quick with the punches. Freezer does dodging them in slow motion. Bro. Like, mm. oh. Ah, that was iconic, bro. No, yeah, you, that was. No, you want to know an iconic frame when Freezer has Vegeta by his neck. And then just punches him in yes. his in in his liver. I was like, yeah. Frieza, uh, Vegeta was a punching bag. And, and the way he's so polite and it's like, it pains me to do this, but you brought this on yourself, Vegeta. <laughs> like, what kind of pain is this? <laughs> it's like it's, you know, it's like when your parents say this will hurt me, then it's gonna hurt you. It's like, I, <laughs> well, you're, you're lying. But... <laughs> Remember, Freeza, even though Frieza was messed up and whatever, he sort of treated Vegeta like his son in a way. By then, because because basically he he brought Vegeta up, you could say. Yeah. yeah after killing his planet and his father, yeah, sure, I like, guess. Like his, like his, <laughs> it was more like it was his favorite toy. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Like as a collectible item, like I have the last <laughs> say it. Yeah. A premium version, royal blood edition. <laughs> it's like if Andy could find out that all the toys were alive, and then he's like, "Oh, okay." Yeah, yeah, something <laughs> like that. Something like that. <laughs> so now we gotta get to Goku versus um thingy Freezer. And that's so, where that's where you see v- Vegeta crying, like, and that's where everybody started falling in love with 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 Vegeta. It's like, oh no, Vegeta. Don't cry. But also, no, I, I, I love that speech. But at the same time, I was just like, ah, but Vegeta, why are you also lying out here? You're, you're crying to Goku like you were one of the good guys. What's you know? happening? Yeah. <laughs> but also, we did everything like, that he asked to and more. And what did he do? He destroyed us. Don't hold back, Kakarot. Yeah. Right? Like, um, for me, one of the most important moments in that is Gohan never saw his dad the same after that moment. Like, he looks back to that moment almost every single time. Mm -hmm. Like, where he saw his... First of all, he knew his father had no chance of destroying Frieza. But it's like, he felt a a different aura that moment when his father was walking towards Frieza. It's like, ever since he saw that, it's as if he he stopped seeing his dad for being his dad, but to Mm -hmm. being this powerful entity. Yep. You know? No, that that moment impacted Gohan so much that he recreated that walk when he walked towards Boo. It's like the same <laughs> yeah. walk. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Yep. That's true. That's so true. we have Goku fighting and I just wanna add, I do I I praise the South Saga a lot. But here we see the the story writing reach its climax when Goku fought against Freezer. Those first few moments yeah. spoke more volumes about the type of fight you're going through. It wasn't a, a, a com- it wasn't a fight between 
a tournament. It wasn't just a fight between a good guy, a typical good guy, a typical bad guy. We got the feeling that it's the ultimate good versus the ultimate evil moment at that time. How just Piccolo from that intro. Piccolo says, those two are monsters. One good, one, one is evil. Good and one is evil. That intro, those, those few, the moment that Goku his foot smashes on the ground, he charges at uh, Frieza. Frieza dodges, swings his tail. Then we have this impact. The screen goes black. We see frames of Goku and Vegeta in this, in this, in this, in this new light. It's epic. That's what I was looking for. It's that amazing. moment no, was even, epic. Like, even before we get to the charge part, we got to talk about when Goku was deflecting the death beams because yes. we never saw yeah. nobody deflect the death beams. Yes. <laughs> and I love when Vegeta's giving the speech and then Frieza <laughs> just blasts him on the <laughs> ground. I was like, ah, Enough. what that? So disrespectful. Uh, he, the guy was going on and on about that, that, that annoying <laughs> prophecy. Didn't, didn't Frieza take, like, a huge rock and then... Like split, yep. like split that rock into small pieces, then use those pieces to. No. What Frieza, did you do? First, Frieza sent sent a lot of small rocks after Goku. Yes. Goku then smashes them all apart, and right. then Frieza takes a huge ass mountain. Yeah. At that point, you could see that Frieza was intrigued by this incredibly strong Saiyan. Yeah, I remember Goku. He stopped it, and this mm. is where you can see the Jiki Chan influence from Toriyama. He yeah. stops it. And then he's like, oh, 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 yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's also, the, there was also the, the time he, 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 threw, he threw me into a lava pit, like my rear is on fire. Yeah. Mm, yeah. You could see there's a lot of goofiness in that fight. You remember when he, he created this ball and used, like, okay, he trapped Goku inside a ball or an energy beam or yeah, 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 yeah. And he said, it's, if this thing lands on the ground, you're dead. If, if it touches anything other than me, it's going yes. to explode. Yes. <laughs> and you and just, the, you are so lucky. I mean, the way it's having fun is like, you're so lucky I'm so fast. Because if it touches anyone other than me, this thing is going to go boom. This thing is going to go boom. <laughs> and then there's a the part where, after this whole thing, because obviously Goku gets out of that thing, and then he's, yes. he speaks his mother tongue for the first time. Bro. He's and like, it sounds so dumb. Umuna, it sounded so weird. It's like, <laughs> like this basically means that let's get serious. Yeah, but then immediately afterwards, Frieza still keeps on tra- playing with him because it's like, you know, uh, let's make a deal. I'll attack you without using my hands. <laughs> Some and, trunks. Yeah, that's that's when we start getting this. I'll use fifty percent of my power. I use seventy yeah. percent of my it power. Actually used, which he used up until Goku was even two percent, and he was still at like what seventy percent? No, no, no. After he after Goku went super saiyan, that's when he was trying to crank out the nineties and eighties. Yeah, and... yeah. But at that moment, <laughs> we but we were en- we were enjoying the episodes. We didn't really get the feeling that you know. Frieza is still much stronger than much Goku. stronger than Goku, yeah. Because yeah, we are both having fun. We get to see the the, the infamous bite scene. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Muna, it's it's a fight. You use whatever you can. <laughs> bite the guy's tail. And, then, and and you could say you could say that Piccolo was sort of like his advisor, Goku's advisor at that time, because he's okay, dude. Charge up for the spirit bomb. I'll try to. Just, to distract this guy. No, that's so hilarious to me. That's so <laughs> hilarious to me. So Goku says we're going to try and use the spirit bomb. I'm going to need you to distract him. And like uh, TFS made such a legendary okay. joke did, where it's like, did you just hold a grudge? Because that is. <laughs> that is. <laughs> oh, man. No, wait. After the hotel scenario, that's when you go to see Frieza become serious and use quote unquote fifty percent of his power. And then the, that's when disaster strikes. Look, and he lost, when, his, he lost yeah. his tail before he didn't want to lose it again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then that's when Goku whips out the when we knew he was in trouble. When like uh, Frieza was stepping on his head and then he's like, I'm gonna find your planet, I'm gonna find your friend, I'm gonna yeah. find your family, yeah. what 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 and then Goku whips out the twenty times Kaioken okay. and you're thinking, hey he's gonna do something here. Ha, and then, me, ha, me, ha. Blocks it with his hand. <laughs> but you know, in as much as this is one of the longest fights in history, if not the longest fight in anime history, I like the part where he's he's he's, he's underwater, right? 
Yeah. And he does two. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Leaves one over there, then yeah. goes to the other side. He does one other. Then he does the Yamcha thing where. Yeah. He takes one out and then Freezer is distracted, takes another out. And ah, that was really cool. Yeah. That's yeah. one of the few moments we realize that Goku isn't as dumb as people think he is. Yeah. Yeah. But for, for the longest time, I didn't really believe Goku was dumb up until Super. Me too. Yeah. 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 No. Because. Super I think, regressed his if, character. I, I, I think if you watched if you watched uh, Dragon Ball Z in the original Japanese, or if you watched the movies, or yeah. read the manga, yeah, many people knew that Goku was stupid. But for us who got exposed to Goku from Dragon Ball Z, remember he died in Dragon Ball Z in the Saiyan saga, so we didn't, we never really got to see so much of his stupidity. Then he was just training, right. Right. and then when you get to the Saiyan saga, we see somebody who's willing to let enemies live. We didn't see somebody who was being stupid. Yeah. And, so, and, and the stupid moments were things where we found funny. Stuff like, okay, guys, there's something that we really need to do first before we do anything else. Yes. Can we get something to eat? It's yeah. like well, moments are like, oh, yeah. well, it's dumb, but it's funny. Oh, you know, or, or, he, or him having a it's panic awful. attack because he thought, he thought Vegeta was going to give him an injection. Yeah. <laughs> so... Baby. No, I, I've never had that. Like, I've always had this thing of Goku as a combat genius. Because, remember, like, the maneuvers that they pull against Vegeta in the Saiyan saga, most of the ideas come from Goku. Yeah. Yes. Like, the team-up spirit bomb thing, that's a Goku idea. Yeah. Right. Right. Encouraging his son to fight. And now he's here with the, with the Kame torpedoes. Yeah. And... Yes. Also, with him using tw- him realizing that he needs to use the spirit bomb. Yeah. I mean, he was being thrashed to the point he was hallucinating, and Vegeta had to come from the uh, from, from from literal hell to give him a pep talk. Yeah. And say, "What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> You're okay. Enjoy this fight. I thought you love fighting." <laughs> One of my favorite lines is, "Freeze away." He says, "Ah, pain." The last time I felt something like this was when I did something wrong and my parents were spanking me or something. Yeah, that's after I got it's kicked. Uh, that's after the spirit, the 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 kami, tom- the kami torpedoes. Actually. Yeah, right. So we get to see a whole lot of nuance in, or rather, the whole the power scaling issue reveal itself. Just how strong Freezer was and how Goku refused to give up. Right. And then we have the spirit bomb scenario. Which one's surprise, surprise. I think everybody should really, at that point, we really shouldn't have been surprised that it, the spirit bomb didn't work. Yeah. No, that time we thought it was going to work. We because thought it everybody was... learned from the Saiyan saga. We were like, no, come on, guys. This, this time. This, this time. time. <laughs> and, it was, and it was huge. It, it was wasn't huge. a small spirit bomb. It was, that is a spirit bomb. That was no, a spirit bomb. No, like, you even gave your energy. You even you even put your hands out to like, ho- to hope you can help Goku from your living room. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> ah, that that was the biggest spirit bomb. We're like, oh my god, it's enormous. We need to take the energy from the surrounding planets, you know. And that's another thing that you see Goku's uh, genius in. You never, I, I don't think King Kai would have taught him to so, to absorb energies from an entire solar system. Yeah, that was his idea. Yeah, but you see, let's be honest. I feel like the most effective abilities that goku has, has has been taught were from king kai and master roshi like yeah man the kyo ken and the spirit bomb and kamehameha yeah no spirit bomb it's like one out of three it's it's, uh, it's yeah. I, 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 spirit bomb it's you know uh, it's the most powerful useless move it's, in all of anime no no it's in the series it's absolutely useless in yeah. the movies, it almost has a hundred percent kill rate. Okay, and yeah. It's sort of like the the original. Okay, I don't know which one. Which which one would you say inspired the Rasengan? Is it the Kamehameha or the Spirit Bomb? Kamehameha. Kamehameha. Yeah, that's because true. even when Naruto does it the first time, he does a Kamehameha stance. But it it is it 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 looks like the Spirit Bomb, right? When when yeah. he's doing it, sort of. Yeah, but like even when he does it the first time, he does it like this. Right. Right. And the way he calls, he keeps on mentioning it the whole time. It's basically Kamehameha. Rasengan. Mm. <laughs> or Odama Rasengan. Too many of them. <laughs> I think. Yeah. I think that the one thing we have to learn, and, and I think it's, that's Dragon Ball Z's fault. Wow, having to name your attacks. Woo. 
Yeah. And they're calling them out all out loud. Guys, it's okay. Special <laughs> beam cannon. You it know? sounds dope though, Devin Long. Come on, you can't tell me. That you, was inspired Bleach. Because but what Kubo did what that was really dope is that he they're summoning these Shikai out. Yeah. They're no. not just saying whatever. It's like no, yo, no, no. rise from the ashes or whatever. Pay, 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 pay attention. attention. The only, the only person, person who keeps keeps screaming out the name of that attack is Ichigo. Everyone else in Bleach, it's either the Shikai and it's just using its abilities. Right. So it's it's gets the same on Zagra and it ends there. Yeah. Getsuka Tensho! I'm saying you can't tell me you you can't tell me you hear Getsuka Tensho and you're just like ah you know like <laughs> y- 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 Ichigo says that thing you wanna throw your arm also. <laughs> <laughs> Like ah. Goku, when Goku says Kamehameha, oh, when we get to it, we'll get to it. But when go when Gohan does it, and you just hear Kame, you know, you know what I say then? Ah, dog, we said it every time. Oh, but which one is cooler though? That Gohan does is it the Masenko or the Kamehame? No, that dog. But no, ah, we're gonna get sidetracked. We'll, let's keep. We'll let's keep going. Let, let's go back. To, we, are, we are about to hit the most important part of the entire Freezer saga. When Frieza shows himself that he survived from the spirit bomb, right. shoots Piccolo, and then he does the he does the biggest mistake of his life. Kills Krillin. <laughs> I but again, Krillin, my guy. You after, after that tale, oh. after that Reddit tale, he never recovered. Because <laughs> you know, he's just been suffering this entire saga. He's been stabbed, his head, his neck broke. He yeah. got killed, got threatened by Vegeta. Yo, there's, I... a, there's something I want to mention, though, quickly before we go further. Yeah. There was one thing that really pissed off Frieza, and it's that Goku was laughing every time he was getting his butt kicked. Yeah. <laughs> Goku was laughing only because yeah. he knew what he was doing. Now, Go- Goku has that smile. Even when he's getting his ass whooped, you just see what he, what he, that resigned smile in his face. Ah! <laughs> what are you? Why are you smiling? <laughs> you know? Um, yeah. No, because the thing is, that's the other thing with Goku that, so, like, people always say Goku's not an interesting character, and it, like, they miss the nuance of who this character is. Hmm. As a Saiyan, he enjoys the fight, right? But he's the one. He's the kind of guy where the harder it is, the better it is for him. Right. If something okay, is too easy, he's not going to enjoy it, right? Which is what I think people forget. That's true. That's why he's always looking for the next strongest challenge. Yeah. But so, also to and protecting his family in yeah. Z. I don't know what they're doing in Super. Yeah, true. Fact. Yeah, I don't think so. Anything. We have we have that moment where Krillin becomes the space powder. Mm-hmm. And that's the first time you see Goku doesn't smile. He doesn't laugh. He doesn't being pissed off. And that and Frieza thought that he finally got him. It's like you know what? I re- finally got an emotional response that I liked. Yeah, but that was the wrong one, buddy. Biggest That's mistake of his life. Have done. You. I mean, let's the talk mo- about one of the most trans- iconic. It's the iconic transformation. It's <gasps> anime. You killed my best friend. <gasps> but this time, I Vegeta won't did. let you so get away with this. <laughs> I think I think it's a good thing that Vegeta didn't see it. It would have traumatized them. <laughs> what gets me going is that technically we had all seen Super Saiyan. But we didn't know it was Super Saiyan because we've all watched the intros of Dragon Ball Z. Right. Oh, right, right, right. Right. Yeah. Like, because even Vegeta, Vegeta Trunks and Goku. Because they saw, they saw Trunks with the sword. They saw Vegeta powering up to becoming a Super Saiyan. No, 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 no. That's, that's like the later, that's in the Cell Saga. What they did is, is they show that scene from Slug where Goku does kind of go Super Saiyan and he's like yellowish. And whatever, and they're like it was fake Super Saiyan or something. No, it was like it was but, the original concept. But, but you should check the the last two clips before they show the Z Fighter standing and Goku landing. It's Trunks with the sword as a Super Saiyan. I think that's when he was cutting Freezer and yes. Vegeta transforming. Like, but what I'm saying is that that's a second intro. There's two intros. So there was the one where they were just using the Tree of Might, Lord Slug, and the other thing. And then there was the other one where after I, Goku went Super Saiyan, they started introducing more people who were going to turn think, Super Saiyan. I think that intro was was shown in the DSTV version because 
in the ones I've been plagiarizing, quote, well, nobody can see my face. I can be honest now. In the ones that, <laughs> in the ones that I took, the the Super Saiyan transformation was there, but it never clicked that that's the Super Saiyan transformation. Yes, yes. Oh, okay. Now I got a different version on SABC. And um, what was that show? Do you guys remember it, man? There was that green. There was that green guy in a red jumps dub. Yes. Yeah, there we was, go. It was SBC2. I'll, I'll send you yes. guys. I'll send you the the, the 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 clips of what I'm talking about in the WhatsApp. I, it'll I, make no, sure. no, no, I, I know what you're talking about. I know it. Oh, I know what you're talking about. I just mm-hmm. remember there was. Two, I remember getting. I didn't get to see Super Saiyan. Oh, we yeah. didn't get to see Super Saiyan. Don't don't do don't don't. No 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 no. I'm talking about the Rock the Dragon. Oh yes. In in the Rock the Dragon intro, you see the last three three clips. You see three super saiyans, but you, we never connect that. that we didn't. Super we saiyan. just thought we just thought they were just pouring up. We you didn't know. know that it was super saiyan. Yeah. But then super saiyan happened. The whole country lost its lost its state, and that was before we had to write our exams. Just like <laughs> Matt, he broke the internet when there was no internet to break. We got thrown. That was probably the most, the highest rated episode in in, in on SBC two at the time. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to lie, bro. Like, it's I'm sure whoever came up with the idea to 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 play Dragon Ball Z on SABC two at four was like, ha, when am I getting my bonus, niggas? Like, <laughs> <No. laughs> and the I thing is, when we watched it, man, there was lightning outside, there was wind. Yeah, and we, thought, that, we, that thought was that, <laughs> we thought, we thought that was that, a funny day. <laughs> it went with the it went with the episode, though. you know, you. Yeah. And that that was epic, and that that fight between Goku and Frieza afterwards, and also it it and that's what I like about it. It wasn't just like oh look, he's powered up, and now he's just gonna beat Frieza. Frieza yeah. fought tooth and nail. He refused to be a sub. He refused to submit. He refused to be the submissive. Yeah, but also like, to show to show how how serious Goku was, hmm? wasn't playing with Gohan, bro. He was like Gohan, go take everybody hmm. here and leave now. But then Gohan. <laughs> You're like, eh, okay, this is serious. Cook is being a father now. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I remember there was some TikTok uh, who, who explained they were explaining it in great detail that if it's, Goku lacks to fight on the ground, right? Because it's his him his love for fighting always shows from through his techniques, and his techniques is usually done on ground level. But when he snapped against Frieza, he was fighting him in the sky. He was like, "You ain't running from me." First, he's like, I'm going to break your hand. <laughs> I'm going to break your back. Mm-hmm. Then, that, that knee to the back, when he got him in mid air, even I felt it like, oh. Yeah, you, you. God, God, God. talk about that iconic pose, man. He used to have this iconic pose where he looks at you from like this. Yes. Yeah. I yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> ah, then you know, bro. Once he looks at you like that, ah, it's over, though. And then the sky. <laughs> he died. Oh, and then Frieza decides, you know what? I want to blow up this planet. In five minutes. And he missed. <laughs> and he missed. To this day, it's the biggest joke of my life. <laughs> like, how can you miss? How can you miss an entire planet? <laughs> he was nervous. He was performing under pressure. I know, man. <laughs> and you, and you sort of under, you start to understand what Vegeta was talking about. Like, you start understanding why Frieza had to kill the Saiyan. So it's because it, this is what he was afraid of. Because it yeah. was like, who are you? And this is the iconic line that Sean Chamel to this day likes using. I'm a force of good. Evil to you. <laughs> I'm the hope of the universe. I Everything love that. that is speech. good. I love it. There's two versions and of we'll... it, and people like the second version because it's more true to the manga or whatever. But I love that Funimation speech. And... Ally to good, nightmare to you. It was the weird. second one is he includes the um son Goku line. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which which Christ, Christopher Sabat allowed him to do it's like okay, yeah. fine, use it. But no, yeah. that, that was the first time we had we had our nerd gasms, let's be honest. Oh, Dragon Ball yeah. Z Dragon Ball Z took our nerd gasm fee cars with that <laughs> at that moment. Dude, like, <laughs> like, like we're like, never the same thing. Your parents said said go buy bread, the shop is about to close in five minutes. So like mom, today we're <laughs> Forget it. Like, <laughs> stop. Stop. <laughs> I'll I'll get in trouble. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Let me finish this, please. You no, no. That's the only issue. The ultimate. Get like team. <laughs> <laughs> like, <stop. laughs> 
and there was no such thing as load shedding, so you didn't you didn't no. worry that you were not gonna, you were gonna miss this thing. It was and that the time as well, it didn't interfere with days of our lives or the no no no. It was, it was, was your time. Before. It was our time. Yeah. 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 The whole, yeah. The, I used to say the whole country stood, stood still at half past four because that's when it played. Yeah, but that was the longest fight, guys. Let's be honest. Yo, okay, even after they transformed this to a Super Saiyan, <laughs> like an extra ten episodes. Man. And then they had, then then they got the dragon back from Nam- Namek. No, then no, no, wished- guys, we're skipping, guys. We gotta talk about when Goku was like, um, "What's this? I'm gonna slap some sense into you." I've never that, that, seen people that, use that back was, hands. That was the end of the night. fight. <laughs> bah, bah. Oh. God, I must give up. If somebody backhands you and frontends you in a fight in the same movement, uh, it's time to it's time to quit. But what you. I liked about that fight is that Goku was just aiming, you know, Goku was just aiming to humiliate Frieza. Mm. And when you are satisfied that this guy is properly humiliated, it's like, okay, I'm done. I'm I'm leaving. <laughs> like, where the hell are you going? <laughs> oh, uh, so what happened? How did how did how did the Dragons get revived again. Did the Earthlings... What happened again? Okay. Uh, Popo gathered the Dragon Balls at super smart. Right. Plot, yeah. plot, uh, plot hole breaking speed. <laughs> <laughs> it's not hard to find them. And they uh, had so and, uh, by Dragon... They, Boma was in space at the time. Yeah. Popo just got Those the Dragon, dragon Ball. <laughs> there was no yeah, dragon. It's Popo. He's you a better genie. Like, <laughs> but it, it sort of makes sense because Popo has been Kami's assistant for eons. So, but still, oh, well, the, 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 the speed, it doesn't yeah, even like a day. It was like an, it doesn't yeah, even that's, an afternoon. That's true. That's There's true. a couple of hours. That's true. And then he gets the Dragon Balls. He says, okay, bring back to life every single person that was killed by Frieza and his men. Right. Then they all come back. Including Vegeta. Including Vegeta. Right. Then Vegeta... Vegeta gets to see <laughs> Kakarot, you old dog. You fucking did it. dog. You did it. <laughs> like, it's impossible. I thought you're dead. You must be a ghost. Can, Can a, a dead ghost person do this? Do this reason? Reason? Boop, gone. It was like exactly. That's exactly what a ghost. What a ghost would do. He'd vanish and run. To me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then uh, that's when Dende is trying to. What was the wish that Dende? Dende wished that everybody on everybody oh on them except except for Goku and Frieza go to get, Earth. Oh, left the get planet, tra- yeah. Get transported to Earth. That's when Frieza interrupted an interdimensional call. <laughs> Can you? <laughs> yeah, you remember you remember how how like, that was one of the most suspenseful scenes ever because Frieza also made a wish at the same time. I wish my immortality. Yeah. You know, like oh, which wish is Purunga going to ground? Yeah. I knew it wasn't going to be his because they were speaking in English. It's like, oh, whatever. Yes, <laughs> but also, if you remember, then these translations were not accurate because Purunga yeah. said, what? Yeah. That happened later. <laughs> yeah. But uh, no, I wanted, I was saying something that was ridiculously funny that made me laugh at that point. What was it now? I've lost my train of thought. You were talking about bitch lapping and then you spoke yeah. about... What did you speak about? Okay. Everybody, dis- okay, plot holes, super yeah. speed, pick, uh, Mr. Popo. Oh, yeah, no, no, the fact that Goku, <laughs> Goku interfered in a call between King Kai and Kami. Oh. And told him, no, yeah, 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 let yeah, yeah. me stay with, <laughs> with the freezer. Now, imagine the level of power. You're having the fight of your life. And at the same time, you're dialing in at somebody else's call. Dude. Who's in literally the afterlife. Dude. <laughs> oh, Super Saiyan, my guy. I, Super Saiyan, he was just flexing. No, I, the other thing that, like, that's, that introduces, because the thing about Super Saiyan that's also iconic when you guys are talking about plot yeah. is that it also reveals kind of what the Goku Saiyan nature. Hmm. Like, yeah. he's not, like, you see him as a Saiyan more so than you've ever seen him before right. when, you, when he turns Super Saiyan. Right. Because, uh-huh. yeah, because Saiyans, Saiyan. like ev- every Saiyan outside of Trunks, Trunks is the only one. Every Saiyan, whenever they get that power up, that's when they start flexing. You see the true colors, bro. Ah, uh, no. They don't Trunks... listen to anybody. 
Yeah. Trunks included. Trunks included. No. The only, the, let me tell you, the only reason he got he he doesn't do it anymore is that he got properly humbled yeah. by the androids at, at, back in his and timeline. So, yeah. He never. When when has Trunks flexed? When I don't when Trunks when first reason? turned when it first turned into Super Saiyan hmm. back in the movie, and he flies back to go fight against the androids from the the alternate timeline where Gohan died. Hmm. He was. He went ham, and he went. He literally fought them tooth and nail, and he fought, fought his heart out. And you could see, like, yeah, he's really trying to flex, only for it to turn out like that is nothing, guy, guys. That was that was. Absolutely- but also, he fl- he was flexing when he was fighting Freezer, though. No, I mean it was a quick flex. He it was a very one one two one two three. Yeah. After after he went Super Saiyan, he wrapped it up fast fast. But Tibelo is making a good point. I think yeah. after everything that Trunks has gone through. Flexing is the last thing <laughs> that he would ever do ever again. Generational <laughs> trauma. Generational <laughs> trauma. <laughs> so no, uh, I, if he was the if he was the protagonist of Dragon Ball Z, the world would never be in danger. Because the minute he gets a chance, it's game nah, over. It's game over. And I think that's why he warned Vegeta. He said, "Dude, Dad, let's not allow this guy to transform again. Let's kill him now." Oh, you know, <laughs> talking to the most the most proud. <laughs> Character in the whole of Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Definition of pride. Yo. Then we have <laughs> back at the back at this whole freezer arc. That's when you see this this glorious fight. And yeah, and the other thing that stands out from the freezer and Goku fight is that there's absolutely no beam battle. Oh yeah. The right. closest thing we see to a beam battle is it when Goku shoots the Kamehameha and Frieza g- generates this gigantic energy ball around himself, this purple energy ball, and he collides with it. He was tackling the beam himself. It wasn't necessarily right. a beam versus another beam, which is something very true to the arc itself because the, at that point, it's not a, a skilled warrior versus another skilled warrior. It's the ultimate good versus against the ultimate evil. Mm. We are fighting for survival. We are not fighting for <clears throat> points. <laughs> and then the other thing that we have to talk about is Goku's iconic line in that fight, my guys, where he's just like, um, "What's this? What? What did he say? Um, what's this? Why? why uh, no. So there's two things. It's like, why do you resort to n- name calling? Yeah. It's like, it's, it, I guess you're so weak. That's the only way that you can challenge me. Yo. And I was like, Yo. Yeah. And then okay. the other one. You lost uh, yeah. to a superior fighter, and on top of that, he was just a monkey. Ah, yeah. yeah. And if you pay attention, he's never called them monkeys to their faces ever again. Yeah, and 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 most of the time, the only thing he was saying is, "It can't be." Yeah. <laughs> How can this be? How can this be? <laughs> Ah no, that yeah. was a rude awakening. Imagine that, like, look at it from Freezer's perspective. He woke up that morning thinking, ah, you know what? I'm just gonna go to this planet that I've dominated. I'm just gonna go pick up Dragon Balls. I'm gonna go get myself some immortality. Can't it, man? Yeah, it's gonna be oh, the hardest day of his life. You know, now that you mention it, I'm now realizing that everything happened in a day. Like, I didn't actually realize this until well, you mentioned it. Canonically speaking, they say it was about a week, but. Because <laughs> oh, because Namek has what two sons? Yeah, two sons. So there's no sunset. And at the same time, Goku traveling from <laughs> from Earth to Namek in a day. I think it was a couple of days. I'm not sure because the the time the timeline doesn't make sense. That's why that power up with him turning at a hundred times gravity also did like wow. Right. Mm. Right. No, but I'm just saying, like, there is a time when Frieza woke up and he was like, I, he has all the Dragon Balls. There was a time when things mm. were going great Everything for Everything was going well. Mm. And then... Just you know, guy comes in and... <coughs> I mean, first first he has to fight against Neo. He humiliates Neo, only yeah. to realize that that was a distraction because Dende had gone ahead. <laughs> because Dende is a child and Frieza was thinking, oh, that, that they're letting the children run away. <laughs> He thought he was being merciful, but little did he know that it, that was his ultimate doom. And so from the moment, then he realizes all his henchmen are dead. <laughs> mm. He's the only one left. <laughs> and you know, I, I like Akira Toriyama's writing. It's like, 
from that moment on, we all fall in love with Dende. Even though Dende was like an extremely supportive character, like he was barely there. But yeah. it's like whenever we saw him on screen after that, even in other arcs, we just liked him. Even when he interacts with Gohan, when Gohan is a, is an adult, you're like, this two went through a lot, eh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, you're I the most. They survived him. Mm. Yeah, and now okay, then we gotta talk about um, what's this? We gotta talk about like the, uh, you know, the big final attack. Oh no! First, we gotta talk about when Frieza embarrasses himself when he's using those <laughs> those in destructo discs and he cuts himself in half. Yeah, and now nah, I was just like, Goku, you did that on purpose. Yeah. No, he warned him. Ah, I, 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 I'm gonna I be think, Goku's I think, I think I'm Goku gonna be Goku's thinking. lawyer at that point. It's like he said, oh, "Go, Frieza, look out!" No, I think, oh, I think, okay. I think what Goku thought is that Frieza was gonna control it at some stage, and he thought that maybe he was gonna pull out at the last minute, and then he realized, kind of, hey, this guy doesn't know what he's doing. Yeah. But also, basically, Go, Goku gave Frieza a second chance, which goes back to what you were saying earlier on about compassion. Like he was like, okay. I'm gonna spare you because he was basically begging for mercy, and I, that moment, it, 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 that moment was, must have been the most um, humiliating moment for Frieza's life. You can't leave me like this, please. No, oh, but I, I love, I love when Goku was like, well, "What about everyone else? Did you stop when Krillin begged for mercy?" Right, and right. everybody thought he was gonna let him go. Like, please, like, oh, you come on. <laughs> and yeah, then, like everybody was like, ah, Goku, leave this man. He killed your best friend. It, it's fine. And then after that, Frieza 180 starts taunting him. You're never gonna make it out of this planet alive. You cannot gonna blow him. It's gonna blow up at any minute now. And then just uh, Goku flies away. And then it's like, you know what? I'm Lord Frieza, damn it. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Ah, you fool! Yeah, ah. that is the best you fool moment of them all. You fool! Yeah. And Goku barely calls anybody a fool, but at that moment, it was deserved. It, no, it was. It was because it was it was like, that. what were you doing, team? Frieza, Frieza you worked be... hard for that. Frieza really worked hard for that. <laughs> and yeah, basically, we are led to believe that Goku is dead because the planet gets destroyed. Only to realize a year later. Oh, oh not even a year later. These two people actually, none of them died. Freezer None of them died. And Goku didn't die. Mm-hmm. Ah, well, I mean, you know, Freezer was close because I, that man was, he looked like broken up pieces of Biltong floating in space. Exactly. <laughs> and uh, basically, you have Vegeta laughing because he's happy that he's, the, he's now the strongest character. <laughs> <laughs> but even then, like when he was busy beating the crap out of Gohan on Earth at that point. Mm. <laughs> And then, and then, and then, like he's he's about to do. Yeah, I think he was about to land a finishing blow. Then Piccolo teleports behind him, like ching, like try it, see what happens. Then Vegeta flies away. <laughs> mm. You get to see that yeah, Vegeta, Vegeta is strong, but Piccolo is just right there, strong yeah. enough to be a nuisance. Yeah. So Vegeta wasn't really gonna do anything on Earth. But I, I'm glad, you know, you know. Sh- yeah, no, Akira is a brilliant writer. Mm. This is another moment where Piccolo gets something worthwhile. The first time was when he got his revenge on Goku when he killed Goku. Mm-hmm. The second time is Piccolo actually get, getting to see his home planet, interacting with his people, his really? with his kin. Mm. You know, it's like it's like basically if Kal El was to meet a lot of Kryptonians, and that was cool. Mm. That was cool. Yeah, and. That's also the moment we get to see that you know what, uh, that's uh, rather, this is this arc is where we get to see Goku become the asshole father that everybody t- talks about. Paso. Because they get the dragon out, they say mm-hmm. wish back Goku. <laughs> like Goku's not dead. Yeah, oh. Shandron oh, okay. is okay. Goku's alive. Like, like oh, okay. Then bring him here. He doesn't want to come. Like, what? (laughs) He's training. He's Uh, prepping. He's learning the instant transmission. You could train on Earth. That is no excuse. He can't learn the instant transmission on Earth, my guy. You saw how useful that thing is. And then to make things worse, if you are alive, all that time, 
at least message your guys at home and say, go ahead, listen, I'm still alive. I can't come home right now because I need to train or get control of this new power. But I'm going to be back soon. I love you very much. See you later, dad. Nothing like that. It's all. Oh. <laughs> you make your son believe that he's you're dead <laughs> for a year. Bro, you didn't know how to use a phone. Ah, come on, guys. How many times have you connected talking telepathically? <laughs> no, Goku. you can only talk telepathically through Kai, through the King Kai. He, you know? he crash landed Go- King Kai and and Kami's call. Don't tell me that he he knows how <laughs> I, to do it now. I honestly wouldn't be surprised <laughs> if we find that Goku has a a long lost child somewhere in the uh, Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, guys, I gotta defend my guy Goku. Uh, he, he he was he was he, he was getting ready. You saw how useful instant transmission is. I know, but it uh, was. I I I agree that technique is very useful, but it keeps a phone call Nyan. <laughs> There was no phones on Yadrat, my guys. Hence my statement, the telepathy thing. <laughs> he, if you can crash, if you can literally hack into King Kai's phone. No, but like he telep- was already connected to King Kai. He couldn't just crash anybody. Why couldn't he connect to King Kai and say, please go tell my son that I'm not king? <laughs> <laughs> it never uh, occurred to him for a second. But, um, basically, the Namekian stayed at Capsule Corp for like a year. Yeah, it does. Um, and then obviously Tien, Yamcha, and Chaozu come back to Earth after getting training from King Kai, so they are also a bit stronger than before. I, not that it matters. Yeah. It, it mattered one time. It mattered one time. Oh no! When, but, when, when, but when, when, yeah. When the Ginyu yeah. Force attacked the planet Kai. Oh yeah, was, yeah, oh, yeah. That was filler, by the way. You know. Oh, it was filler. Hey, yeah. son. After that, oh God, anywho. <laughs> so that's the Namek saga. Are we leaving? Is there anything else that we're leaving behind? Um, that's about it. Yeah, yeah. I think I think so. I Jeez, think that's... we we spoke about the Namek saga for for two hours and some twenty two minutes. It's a great it's a it's a great saga, man. Yeah, uh, yeah. We Vegeta wanted to go after when he, I think Vegeta wanted to go after Goku because. Bitch, he, he, he's gonna become a super saiyan no matter what. <laughs> right. Wow, that's that's Cell Saga. We'll we'll get to we'll get to yeah, so, we'll get to that. But it, I think we've covered everything. It mm. was such a beautiful. It was a nice. Uh, it was a nice ending to that saga because we basically got everything that we wanted. Right. And the Nemekins were saved. People were back, and we now we've learned this new mysterious superpower called Super Saiyan. Right. And yeah, it was it it, it left. It's one of those few stories that leave on a on a high note, but still leave you wanting for more. Piccolo and Gohan reconnected. Gohan became a lot stronger. Gohan is now he's not a crybaby anymore. Oh, we we gotta talk about it quick, quick, quick. Just a hot honorable mention. When Gohan went one on one with Freezer, even yeah. if it was for five minutes. Yeah. That that was. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. That that was when good. when he snapped the first time. That's mm. when you saw. That's what we got. We we all knew that Gohan has the potential of getting angry and using his hidden power. Right. What we didn't get that it was actually foreshadowing what comes next. Yeah. Right. right. And the thing that foreshadowed it was not necessarily him snapping at Reddits or him snapping at Nappa. It was him snapping at Frieza because Frieza was overwhelmingly strong. Right. And he mm. managed to knock him down. Yeah. And in the most brutal way, it was. He knocked him down, he kicked him in the guts, kept on kicking him in the guts, <laughs> shot a beam at him, Frieza blocks it. As soon as he lowers his arm, there's another one straight to the face. Then there's the Masenko. <laughs> and I think that's one, one common trait with the Saiyans. Once Saiyans get angry, oh, they do the impossible, the near impossible. Yeah, no, because it's... he did it twice. He did it when Frieza was in his uh, second form, I think. Yeah. And then he did it when he was in his final form, which was like, it's taking a Super Saiyan to fight this final form. Even, in, Gohan even, is. In, even in his third form. Oh. Even in his alien form, because Piccolo was being thrashed. Right. And then Gohan flew, snapped and flew in and knocked him down. And that, that's when he had the gigantic Masenko that almost knocked Freezer to the planet. It cost almost all of his energy to deflect it back. Wow. <laughs> so, yeah, look, Loki, that, that, again, it goes to the brilliant 
Sorry, when he's serious, mm. when he's not just freestyling. Mm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, uh, how... and, and Gohan's power is foreshadowed throughout all of Z. Mm. And that's what I liked about it, that everybody, Gohan's uh, strength was not necessarily about how powerful he is right now. But that potential that he carries with how him, wherever how powerful he could be one day. Yeah, and, and, and that and like that's one of the issues with Super is there's no more any foreshadowing anything. Everybody just gets whatever. Yeah, we, yeah. I, Super is a mess. It, su- <laughs> super is a mess. Super Super is a, a result of shonen should, manga becoming commercialized. So let's just <laughs> let's. We should make, have an episode on that. We should we should definitely have an episode on that. This is roasting Dragon Ball Super because I, I, I need to I need to watch like a uh, say of Super because I honestly didn't see Super like you guys. I lost interest a long time ago. No, I I did I well we'll talk I about it. I, no, I, th- <laughs> I think I I said it in my podcast that the moment Jiren stepped off, I stepped on, I stepped off. I. I I kind of have to make a disclaimer. I wasn't watching super religiously episode by episode. Yeah, me too. I, I was just watching all the major fights because uh, the Beerus and Goku. What I liked about them was their dynamic, not necessarily their combat, because Beerus is like this powerful, lazy guy. Mm. <laughs> you know, it's like the guy was blessed with all the talent, but does nothing about it. And I used to like I I like the dynamic between this guy who wants to become stronger. It always makes it, it's always the thing that attracted me to say, let me give Super a chance. Ah, but then Zamasu mm. and Jiren, then oh no, I. <laughs> <laughs> we'll we'll get to we'll get, we'll get the, to we'll get there. We're, we're still here to talk about the androids and cell, and we're gonna talk about Majin Buu. Yes, and uh, then we'll get to. Are we gonna do I'll, GT? I'll... Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll, we can talk GT. Okay. Cool. Uh, okay, I'll try and talk about GT. <laughs> I'll try. Yeah, Munda, if you're gonna do super, we have to touch GT. It, we we is, have to. It, yeah. it, it, it's like GT and Super are like the the two children of the group that nobody really wants to talk about. Ah uh, no, I uh, GT GT got adopted recently after Super uh, came no. out. After you know, Super came never. out, GT GT is sort of like now the Star Wars prequels now. Yeah. Uh, 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 David, David, look, come on. You cannot uh, tell I, me that I, you I, look I, at I, Super I, and you're I, just I, like, ah, GT, we were harsh on you, my friend. Let's be honest. <laughs> Between Zamatu ne, and and Baby or Omega Shenron, which one is better? Oh, Omega Shenron and Baby by far. By far? No, all of them suck. No, by far. Omega, I, I compared no. to Zamatu? No, look, Omega okay. Shenron in concept is amazing because he is the revenge of the Dragon Balls. Yes. Like, let's yeah. think about that. Yes. They've I, been I, abusing these okay, things forever. Okay, 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 finally. Thank you. That argument gives me a perspective that makes me make me understand where you guys are coming from because, oh, yeah, as a concept, yes, it was brilliantly written. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because, yes, it's, 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 the dragon, it's the dragons basically saying enough of this abuse. I get it. <laughs> And then, as for Baby, Baby was also, it was also foreshadowed, because even when uh, King Kai was explaining Planet Vegeta, that there were two races, it was the... It yeah, was the yes. Troubles. So, that was also, law-wise, it, it does check, so I, I, I'll give you a pass about that. Story-wise, I'll give it to you, then yes, then GT does have its place in the table. But the combat, oh, oh not no. as good as Z. That's oh no, that no. Combat, that combat made that combat gave me hives. I'm so sorry. No, I mean that's fair, but I mean I take I take bad combat and at least a decent story over. No, but even the combat in Super is just that. But anyway, it's, that's it's another story made. for yeah. another day. Hmm. All right, gents. So, I think I'm is there anything else that we need to add? Uh, you know, Escom is stalking us here. Okay. Um, I- our personal side, freezer. <laughs> okay, I think we need to before we we close up in in the future. We just need to speak about who we think the best character is and why. And oh, right. in, in, my opinion, uh, in my opinion, I still think that Vegeta, because like I said, he carries the story forward in a sense that he helps he helps Krillin and Gohan, giving them Saiyan armor, helping Goku get healed. He's the he's our Saiyan guidebook. He's the one that. Um, yeah, he, he makes the story interesting. We, okay. he, we see him kill Dodoria and Zabon and Kui and 
his fights with the Ginyu Force and killing all the Ginyu Force members and trying to become a super saiyan. Like for me, that's mm. not, I see not that, that but it's still Goku but for, for me. He's the, he's I, I, I I see that, but it's still Goku for me in the Freezer saga. Like yeah, same just, here. just yeah. just the, the way that he went Super Saiyan, the way that he changed as right. a Super Saiyan, the right. way that his whole, like, he was still Goku, but his whole demeanor turns around and everything, and, like, yeah, it was, like, Vegeta is strong second, but I think Goku, for me, is still the best character in the in the Freezer saga. I agree. Uh, well, I agree in a sense that, okay, let me put it like this. The reason I agree with you guys is only because Vegeta hyped him up so much. <laughs> like, like, honestly, Vegeta hyped up Goku so much, we but never had of a Super Saiyan. Yeah, by the I time think it was, I was talking about, it's like, yo. I think Vegeta mentioned it once in the Saiyan saga while teasing Gohan. Mm. Like the little Super Saiyan. Right. But, uh, that, mm. Apart from that, it's Vegeta who really carries this whole prophecy of the Super Saiyan thing. Mm. That I have to give it to Goku for this arc. It's Yes, he, he was carried by the plot. There's no way you can you can explain against the times how how ridiculously <laughs> strong he becomes so quickly. Right. But he's the one who he's the one who made that fight. Even no, taking away from the fact that that fight was ridiculously long, mm-hmm. he's the one that shows that uh, he's the one who made the fight between Goku and the fight between Goku and Frieza enjoyable ridiculously long as it yeah. was yeah it was a fun fight that's why i can't enjoy kai <laughs> right I, I, love, I, I i like the fact that he, people are complaining that dragon balls is too long and yes it is too long but still that fight between goku and frieza even with its length it didn't feel that long yeah. it was just fun yeah and no, I mean, the thing is, we were watching week to week. That's what made it painful. Yeah. Like, yes. if you get to binge it and watch it all together, it's amazing. Yes, but much. if you're watching week to week, it's like, yo, when <laughs> you hear that old man, it's like, oh no, go hide his stars in the fight. Will he survive against the overwhelming onslaught of Frieza? Yes, Find out in the next episode of. Dragon I think, Ball Z. I think also the commentary from the commentary from Piccolo and Vegeta made it. You know, like when you're watching WWE and you have those yes. two guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a swap and knocker. Oh, you two with the camera. Oh, and, came and, out and, of the way. and then you'll explain that, oh no, Goku is in trouble. He used up the last of his energy. Yes. We don't know that. It had to be Piccolo that explained it to yes. us during that fight. Because we, we were Gohan. We were Gohan. Yes. We were failing to catch up on some spiders. <laughs> And, you know even, in, <laughs> even in the Saiyan saga, you know, we couldn't see these people moving faster than light. Yes. So we are like, God, like they vanished. Of course not. They're moving really fast. Start, use this and look, <laughs> look at it like that. It's like how? So and you, you, like you got to Gohan, see that movement. Gohan, like Gohan was constantly in training, even during a fight, because yeah, Piccolo was teaching him something every time. Hmm. <laughs> Dodge. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, uh, okay, yeah. Uh, okay. Weakest character? Weakest character, I go. Or the least interesting? Goldo. Or the least interesting plot wise for that for that for that for this particular arc. Mm. Wow, there's so many. Nah, but my I, pick is Goldo. Yeah. Uh, he was in and out. No one but, you uh, just no, remember no, him no, for his design. No, 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 no. Goal, at least you know that we, we got to see his time stop abilities. The guy who takes the biggest L for me in this saga has to be Dodoria. Oh, yeah. yeah. Dodoria just broke a person's neck. <laughs> I mean, even even Gohan... Killed a couple of guys like, and then Vegeta... Gohan, yeah, but who did who did Guldo take out, though? Like, Guldo didn't do anything. Oh, that's true. Oh, ah, yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, then it has to be Goldo here, right? No, it's Goldo, you're right. Yeah, no, no, it's Goldo. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> he pauses there, he goes along, and then he's dead. That's all he does. You, 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 not you, not you only is he that... dead, he gets decapitated. <laughs> You'd hope that his four eyes would give him more foresight, but yeah. no. <laughs> no. <laughs> That'll be fine then, Goldo, Goldo it is. 
That, that, uh, that's he, our final he just, answer. He just saw his death in 4D. That's all that yeah, happened. That's all that, that's all that happened. Yeah, absolutely <laughs> right. Okay, no. Uh, that's about it, guys. That is about it from me. Hey, this was fun. And I'm just going to give you a, a word of warning for the Cell Saga, right? Because I can see how long this call has been. Cell <laughs> Saga is going to be longer than this, isn't this it? This is going to be way longer. <laughs> <laughs> I have so much to say about the Cell Saga. Yeah, there's I hope, a lot to cover. There's I hope you guys cover. forgive me. If you're going to say it's too long, well, I don't know if you'll break it into parts or something, because, whoa, I think we should. We should do the Android part. Right. And then we should do the... Um, the so two, two, part, no, no. two part videos. Yeah, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure, we'll figure it out, it because out. Yeah. because we have to do the Androids, then we have to do so. 17 and 18, and then Cell. Yeah, or something yeah. like that because ah ah ah, hey, shame. you'll die. Yeah, <laughs> no, that's true. That's we'll, a lot. we'll be here for eight hours. We'll 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 have to invite <laughs> we'll have to invite Black Meister over to one of our sides, and then we'll have to have it <laughs> because I'm screwed. Lord shedding, we're not stopping. <laughs> yeah, no, you're not stopping on the like this one will require. Yo, yeah, a yeah. different time. Because we're going we're gonna to talk for a while. Yeah, we're going to talk for a while, Chief. It sounds like good for me. <laughs> so. <laughs> okay, I know, guys. I think we can shut it down. Buck, are you going to? Oh, should I take us out? Yeah. Thank, uh, thank you, everybody, for watching and all of that stuff. Please like, share, subscribe. Go follow us on our various social medias. Uh, make sure to go follow Mr. Extraordinary on the TikTok and all of that good stuff. Mm -hmm. And go follow Mr. Develo on all the TikTok and all of that good stuff. You love South African Dragon Ball Z content. This is the place where you're going to find it. Please go share on all of your various social medias. And we'll check you all in the next video because we all have to be out. Peace. Peace. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> yeah, this is fine.